on the old record. Uh, had a great call today with uh, with Bill from our group. Um, I think it's Skl Skladowski. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a Polish Ohio name, so it's hard to say. But yeah, we had a uh, Bill Skladowski. That's it. Had a great call with Bill today. Totally loved it. Um, and yes, um, I know that me asking the question about when our call is going to change is confusing a lot of folks, but um, I am still polling the group. We haven't had a lot of people respond to that. And um, yeah, this guy is a riot. Uh, so far, it looks like looks like Saturdays at eleven is the winning uh, is going to be the winning time, and I'm probably going to implement that next week so that uh, we can um, try to get more people on the call. Um, but yeah, this week it's still today, so I'm happy to be here. Let me uh, see if Frank's on the horn here. I really today, I really, really want to focus on doing some hot seats. I figure it would be awesome to, um, it would be awesome to just like help as many people as I can live. So we did have some questions too that I'm going to go through on here. But let me uh, let me see if I can find our man Frank. I can't believe it's already Friday. What the heck is going on? What's going on, my man? You are live. Okay, no problem. All right. Let me plug in some headphones so I don't squelch everybody out. No problem at all. Here's the new hardware. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's having a good day. Can everyone hear me all right? Just want to make sure everyone can hear me okay. Uh, Lisa Allen cannot see my screen. How's it going, Lisa? We got Lisa Allen, the creator of Tube Viper, in the house. Woo -woo. What's up, Lisa? Uh, just want to make sure everyone can hear me all right. Give me some yeses. <clears throat> yep, 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 yep. Okay, great. Awesome. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right with a hot seat. I'm going to just come back to these questions later. If I don't answer them on the call, I will answer them um, I will answer them in the thread. So, who is up for a hot seat today? So what a hot seat is is you basically let us know what you're working on in your business or what you want to be working on in your business and what you need me to help you with. It's not like we're going to sit there and pick on you or anything like that. And Why not? I don't want to pick on anybody. <laughs> Dude, it's Friday. And, uh, alright, so Rex. Rex is up. Rex wants to go up. He's the first one. And so, I'll just give some advice, and if anyone else in the group has anything to comment about what Rex has going on, you can, you know, just put it in the in the chat box, and I'll make sure to convey it over to Rex. Do you want to... Uh... Give me access to the questions. Oh yeah. Or no. Yeah, yep, I do. It doesn't bother me. I actually just woke up from my afternoon power nap, so I'm a little bit on the grog side here. That's a. All right. Coffee and naps. Yeah, Heather's gonna run out and get some coffee for me. <laughs> I need it. Well, they they said you're supposed to drink the coffee like really fast. Not so you burn yourself or anything, but you drink it really fast within like five, ten minutes, and then you go and take your nap. Oh, really? Yeah, and then after like 30 minutes, which should be your maximum nap time, the coffee should be hitting you, and when you get up, you've got the the relaxation from a nice rest and the jump of the coffee all at the same time. Never, so for everybody out there, never um, heard of that. welcome to uh, healthorganizationinfo.com. Never, or, never heard of that. 
Right. It just came out. It just came out. You never know. That's funny. Who's our hot seater? Uh, Rex. Rex. I'm going to turn uh, Rex's microphone on right now. All right. Rex, you are live. How's it going, my man? Whoops. Doesn't look like uh, we can hear you. He said, hang on. Let him get a speakerphone. Okay. All right. While you're doing that, Rex, I'm going to pick someone else. Uh, what you want to do too, Rex, is you go and there's the section called File. I think you, you have the same thing on your GoToWebinar. And it'll have Preferences, File, Preferences, and then Audio. And you should be able to select uh, what speaker or whatever is going on over there so that you can talk in with us. Okay? All right, so let me pick the next hot seater here. And I'll definitely make sure to get, get with you, at Rex. Um... All right, Curtis was the next one. Uh, Curtis, let's go. We're, we're getting off to a... Uh... Are you there, Curtis? Hello, hello. Also, guys, uh, uh, just so you know, it'll say uh, settings underneath. Um, you might have to turn your microphone on there, or you may have your microphone and be uh, red. May have been muted as you come in. Yeah, may have been muted. Curtis says can't get the mic to work. That's weird. Um, Curtis, you have like uh, under your go to webinar little box. There should be like up at the top. It says file options view help. Under file, you should have preferences. You should be able to select your mic there. All right. Next, I'm going to pick uh, Dave Jones. He says he's ready. Curtis, I'm going to come back to you, my man. Dave Jones. Dave, are you there? I'm here. Woo! How are you, we, got, Anthony? we got one working. Dave, I want to make sure. Do you see what I'm seeing? Because as an organizer, sometimes I have a different a box than you guys do. You see file, right? File and preferences. Up in the up in the top left, uh, under next to go to meeting. Yeah, and the go to webinar box thing that 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 you have. Uh, it says file, and then there's a at drop the very down. top. Yeah, at the very top, it says file, right? If you select file, does it then have preferences? Um, okay. Are we talking the top of the little box to the right, or the top of the menu bar that goes across the whole screen? Uh, it's to the right. The to little, the, right. the little, your little chat box area. At the yeah, very no, top. I, I don't see a file. I've got um, audio. Okay. What's under audio? Uh, all the uh, little devices here. I can use the telephone mic or speakers. My uh, okay. unmute speaker volume. So who's, who's, that's where you select your mic is over there, right? Yeah. To the, just a, I have mic and speakers highlighted, and then just a little bit to the left is a green microphone, or it's gray, you know, which mute or unmutes it type of thing. So. Okay. Anthony, did you hit the uh, record button? Uh, yeah. Here's how I'm doing it. I'm doing it this way today. I'm doing it with the old. It's just, oh, you're okay. You're doing um. Camtasia. Uh, um, John or not John. Um, uh, somebody said Bruce. Thanks, board. Bruce. Pre appreciate you, man. Yeah, no, I'm getting it right here. Sweet, sweet. Uh, okay, so yeah, so Dave, tell us what you got cooking and how we can help you. Okay, I have been doing SEO, web redesign, uh, online marketing for about seven years. Uh, started off with just some some uh, kind of. Uh, online business products, one-ups type of thing where you'd make, you know, $500,000 a sale. Those kind of all fell apart when the economy crashed out. So some friends of mine said, hey, can you get me on the first page with my business and thus started local businesses about five, a little over five years ago. Um, this is awesome. Having someone like you in our group is awesome. Folks, here's someone that has got experience with this stuff as well. And I always tell people like, uh, to utilize the group in the sense that like doing partnership on deals too uh, because there's folks out there that are just good at getting clients but they don't want to do the ranking maybe they could partner up with you not like a permanent partnership but like a JV you know help me rank this how much would you charge that kind of a thing so it's great to know that we got someone like you in the group sure and, and my passion Anthony is is really kind of 
always been to help people yep. in the respect of teaching them what I know. So I'm, even though I don't mind doing it, I prefer to help by empowering others to teach them what to do. Same so, here, man. Same here. So, and like you, you know, you sift through the, you know, hundred items and find the three that aren't, you know, uh, dung or, you know, redundant from the uh, 10 years ago when people said, oh yeah, just put your keyword in white on your page for a thousand times and you're all set. I mean, you know, <laughs> just getting rid of all that stuff. So anyways, that's, that's a background. I don't, um, so you get a kind of an idea of where I'm going from. Um, what I've noticed in the local business is there's a lot of people getting into it. They're, they're, they're totally, um, un, unconfident, inconfident, not confident with their services or their abilities. And so next thing you know, they're shooting out prices that are just ridiculous to people. And you sit there and go, I can't do it for that. You know? Yeah. Not, so what I'm looking to do is, is shift from doing what I'm doing here and, and focus primarily on video marketing in lead gen. That's, that's what I would like to do. I've got clients that I do work for anywhere from 300 to 500 a month per, you know, for keywords and doing uh, upgrading their, and working on their sites. Um, but I'm not, I'm not at that range that I really want to be at as far as income goes. Okay. So essentially the challenge you're having is uh, the, the commoditization of the, of the pricing and all the people entering the competition, entering the market. It's Yeah, and it's, it's not that they're competition. It's just that they're coming in and they have no self-confidence. And so when someone says, well, you're gonna, you know, this guy's doing it for 1000 and why would I pay you that? Would you do it for 200 And they say yes. They don't realize, one, they're killing the market, but two, they're really hurting themselves because – psychologically they just start anchoring that 200 is my is is what I'm worth right yeah no I, and, I feel and you know they're, you know they're sitting there going okay honey I'll see you later and you know 15 minutes later they're going welcome to McDonald's man yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you're just you're sitting there buddy what'd you do so anyway so I'd like to make a shift I've been doing video marketing since the beginning um, I mean that was a big thing for me I used to tell my clients look there's no difference between what people are going to see when they see you on the internet versus seeing you on TV. And as time goes on, it's going to be more and more just the same type of thing. You've got that celebrity authority status. And, you know, within three weeks of doing a site and, or doing some videos for people, they call me up and they're like, Dave, I can't believe it. I just got that call. Oh, is this Jerry? Jerry, are you really? You're the owner and oh, you answered the phone? Oh, my, this is amazing. Hey, I need your help. Those calls happen all the time when you use video. Right. As you know. Right, yeah, no, for sure. You want you want to know what's funny? Um, if I can just throw something out here real quick. Absolutely. Video is so important that um, there's an LA news, um, TV news uh, station, that while they're on the air for their morning news, they are live in Google Hangouts also. And they bring in their viewers, but they are live in the studio, and they bring in the local businesses. Uh, I have not been able to find out how much they're charging these local businesses to come sit down and BS with their viewers out there. But there are people who probably have the TV on and are sitting in front of their, uh, their computer with this hangout going. And... That is just a way of, of building revenue. So what I'm, I'm trying to tell people is if a station is willing to commit their on-air talent to four and five hours a day and people are going to the station and sitting down with these people to be in front of this audience on Google in this Hangout, which is YouTube, if they're monetizing it, why are you not monetizing it yet? Right. I mean, it's just it's so much money out there. Yeah. And and you and you've got this grainy, cheesy looking production. You know, cuz you hangouts just does not come across that clear. No, you know. it doesn't. No. You know, that's that's where we're live is just phenomenal. We got a big uh, we have a big ad guy in our group. This guy was in the advertising industry forever up in Chicago. Uh, his name is George Case. He's in our, he's in our speed ranker group. 
he said that it's probably a value added if the client buys ads on the station, which makes sense. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. With, with my dad being with uh, Clear Channel, you know, the, those value ads were always so important. And, and with the live thing, I totally agree. Live would be so much better. It's just that for the average guy, the 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 jump in is so hard. I mean, I'm 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 waiting for Google to give me my T1 um, so I can broadcast better. But I'm usually hitting high def, which is only 720. Uh, but sitting down with these local guys and doing you know regular video, you know, right. just 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 ripping off Anthony and going to my barber. Uh, those guys called me up and said, holy crap, dude, um, that was awesome. And I went, yeah, I know. And I looked at the stats <laughs> yesterday, and it was over 200 views to the videos. Nice. So nice. I called them up, and I said, you know, how many people came in? And they're like, well, we don't really know yet. And I said, I know, we haven't monetized it. Now we put an overlay that says mention YouTube and get 20 bucks off. And the guy's like, absolutely, I want to do it. So, I mean, now now that, you know, started off as a haircut and a shave every week, and now it's going to be more than that. Totally. Um, you know, and, and here's here's what you got to do, because I, I battle this too, uh, Dave. Um, and, and also with Joe Mosfolio on, on the call, he's he has a, a, a very big local business as well. Uh, like yourself, uh, he, has, he has a couple of different models. I know that he has actual sites that he rents out. So he's controlling the leads. So then it doesn't okay. become a price issue, right? Um, right? Because he owns the real estate. He's just selling the leads to the businesses. And at the end of the day, that's what they really want. They really want the leads. There are some businesses that are egomaniacs and want to see their videos up there so they can show it off to their friends and stuff. Um, and so he, what he says he does is he just leaves them a card and, and, that's, and, and says, well, when they don't rank for you, just give me a call and I'll take care of it. And that's essentially what I do. If you think about it, right? Every industry has these guys. You got look at the look at the personal injury. <laughs> look at the personal injury industry, right? You got all those different personal injury attorneys. You got the new guys and the older guys, and everyone's killing themselves advertising. And uh, the guys that really are good charge more than the than the guys that are charging the lower percentages of the case. You know, so it's like, why would you go with you know, why would you go with a guy that's going to charge you 40% versus a guy that's going to charge you 25% if he wins your case? Because he's probably going to win you the case, right? Um, right, right. It, it, and it, it's, it's um, I, I get where you're coming from. It's very aggravating, especially with what's going on overseas and, and, and those those people coming into our marketplace too. They're not even over here locally. They're overseas and they're targeting customers over here. Um at the end of the day, you have an advantage over those guys in the sense that you can touch those businesses if you work locally. I, I don't know how big your marketplace is, but um, I tend to do stuff like locally, uh, where, where, and then I, then I go out from here. I'm not saying that you can't work virtually. You definitely can. It's totally possible. Uh, there are, there, we've got people in the group that are you know, other side of the world that are doing good. Um, I mean, you got Chris Winters. He's out over in, in Korea. And, and he's making millions of dollars selling clients over here. So it's totally possible. Uh, I think that it just comes down to you making them aware that you exist and making them aware that you are like the Bentley of ranking, you know, the, the Rolls Royce of ranking. And if those other guys can't cut it, you know, to, to ha you know, leave your card and have them give you a call. And I also think that, you know, you need to make them aware of the dangers of using those guys. Like, put the fear and the pain, drop it yeah. in their mind. Like, that. Like if these guys screw up, they could really tarnish your website and your brand with Google forever. Um, you know, obviously you don't want to do it in a way that's, you don't want to do it in a way that's like, um, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to use a bad word here, but douchey, <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. I know. Well, let, let, let me t let me just tell you this, Anthony. Sure. I'm six foot ten. I'm from I'm from Boston, but I'm in I'm in Atlanta, and so it's like I go into a place and I'm kind of like a bull in a china shop because I, right. I I'm, I'm very direct, right to the point. If you like it, great. If you don't, hey, good okay. for you. Catch you later. Okay. Bye. 
So I, I, I know part of me needs to work on that, but on the other hand, a lot of my clients are just like, you know, Dave, when I first met you, I hated you, but you, you just really deliver, you know? So, and that's, um, you know, that's, I, I think that's what you need to do is you need to highlight like, um, all these people that you've worked with, you need to like get some sort of a portfolio that maybe has like a, a picture in front of their business. Um, and I've got video testimonials and I just, I've got them on my iPhone and I just show them to them and I said, look, here it is. Uh, you know, I had a doctor the other day. He said, well, give me people to call. I said, I've got these videos. He said, well, I want to call. I said, well, let me ask you this. I do work. I go out and I talk to 10 people this week. You want me to have all 10 of them call you and say, hey, Dr. So-and-so, can I pull you away from your practice and ask you about Dave Jones? And next thing you know, you're spending, let's say, five minutes with everybody. You're just shy of an hour killing time. Out yeah, of yeah. I, I never do that. I, I never, ever, 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 ever do that. Like, I would just, if that, with, with a guy like that, I would be like, this is what I got. If, 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 and, and, no. and I would say oh, exactly what you said. Like, you said it the right way. What I mean is I would never do that, is I would never give out my other clients phone numbers oh, yeah. for somebody no, to absolutely. call. I mean, you are right absolutely. on the spot with that. Don't ever do that. Uh, uh, hey, let me, let me throw one, if I can throw one thing out and then I'd just like to share something with the group afterwards. Um, I've got a gentleman that actually wants to bring me in as, as their, um, basically their CMO at a, um, at a level of, of building up a client base for them. I don't really want to get into the product yet because he's he's still finalizing some things, um, but I really want to use video to to do that, um, and then I'd get a, a percentage of the company, and then when investors came in, I'd get a, a you know a salary. And I I've known this guy for about ten years, great guy. Okay. Um, what what do you think about that type of opportunity as it appears? Is it a, is it a big brand? No, he's uh, he he he's walked away from a, a quarter of a million dollar job, and he's been working on this thing for ten years. We we used to be neighbors, and so so it's a product. Uh, he's either, it's a product he's launching, and he needs you to to bring it out to the marketplace to to the brand. Right, he's going to go after more corporate big sales, and he's looking for me to. He's talked to a, t a ton of people about social media and about online marketing, and nobody has given him the vision or the hope or the, the just the excitement and enthusiasm in the conversation about yes, this can definitely go direct to consumer type of marketing. Okay, and and, and he needs help with what? He needs you to help him with his video branding. Yeah, everything, video branding, Facebook ads, just, you know, drive, drive into a lead capture page and, you know, either people uh, sign up for this service, which is about $5 a month, um, and or just, you know, fill in that opt-in form so we can drip feed and, uh, you know, get them in, you know, 3, 6, 9, 12 days, 15 days, 2 months down the road. And then he's going to just, he, he wants sweat equity from you in the beginning with a percentage of the business and then... He's going to compensate you for it. Correct. I would. I would get you know a percentage, and then and then every we'd have milestones set up that once we hit things, then the percentage would increase, and it would cap out at uh, you know it, it caps out at a single digit, so it's not huge. But the intention is to take some of the other um, percentage of the uh, of the common stock and. Uh, bring in investors who can infuse, you know, money to, you know, get some salaries and do some other stuff. Type of thing. I, I mean, I, I, if, if everything looks solid and the guy's plan looks solid and you know him for a long time and you want to work with him and you guys work well together and you have, uh, you have uh, uh, discretionary time that allows you to do this and it's not going to affect your business and you're looking to like, you know, take some free time that you have and do something with it and invest that time then I would go for it if if everything looked good and it was all spelled out in writing. All right. always make sure that kind of stuff is spelled out in writing. Uh, yeah, right. like Scott says, have an exit plan uh, agreed on, uh, and, and milestones. Yeah, yeah, like you yeah. said, that's important too. If you've got all that stuff spelled out and you've got the free time and it's not going to affect your business, I mean, all you're losing is, I mean, it's important. You're losing time because you can't be spending that time now on something else. But if your gut at the end of the day, you got to do a gut check. And if your gut's like, yeah, let's freaking go for this. And, you know, give yourself a time 
you know, Scott said to have an exit plan agreed on between you and him, but you need to have an exit plan between you and yourself to know that right. I'm going to give this until this date. And if it's not there, then I'm going to have to exit, you know, um, because you got to give yourself also a point of when you're going to get out. Right, right. But yeah, I mean, if your gut's like, boom, go for it, I would. Joe, Joe Mafolio jumped on the call. He wanted to add to what you uh, were saying about your clients. I'm going to let him tear it up. Go for it, my man. Yeah, um, my first client, one of the first clients I closed, you know, it was like a $35,000 deal, and I did it with video. But I was in almost a similar circumstance. Uh, the the guy had a um, a pretty successful business, but his online marketing and his rankings were terrible. Uh, he had an SEO guy, but the guy wasn't really performing at all. Um, so so uh, I did a presentation for him, this and that, and um, he was iffy if he was going to go with me or stay with this guy that wasn't doing any results. So I basically told him, look, you have these videos out there that have no views. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to rank this video for you while you're deciding. He said like give me 3 days. So over the the 3 days um, the video hadn't hadn't ranked yet, but he called me on the third day, he said, you know, he's going to stick with his guy that he has because his guy was cheaper or this or that. It's a longer story, but that's that's about the gist of that. And then I said, "Okay, well, that afternoon the video appeared on the bottom of page 1." And so I texted him and said, hey, just by the way, um, the, your video, it did appear on, you know, on page one. And before that, in the conversation I had with him, I actually told him, say, hey, my team, you know, is working on your video. I'm, I'll just have them stop working on it. And, you know, and, and then, you know, later that day it showed up and I told him, when I texted him, I said, you know, he texted me back and basically said, hey, let's meet up and talk about this. So, okay. Well, the next day, it moved up to the top of page one. And so love it. I called him. What's that? I love it. <laughs> yeah. And so I, so I called him, and he's like, oh, man, it's, you know, he's like, wow, I can't believe it. You know, this guy's been working, I've been paying him for a year, and, and you did in three days what he hasn't been able to do. And I, I mean, it was a while ago, but the conversation basically, he was, he was him and hawing a little bit. And so I told him, I said, listen, don't even worry about it. I said, now that I got this video to number one, and I figured you weren't interested, I called two other competitors of yours. I basically just told them who I called, right? And I knew who his competitors were. And I got a meeting with this guy on Thursday and this other guy on Monday. I said, so if you're not interested, I, you know, I won't have a problem taking your video down and putting theirs up there. And I basically sold the deal. Um, if I did could you, do it over again. His, did you rank his, Joe, on his page? Or was no. it you took his video and put it on your page? Or yeah. your, in your channel, I'm sorry. Your channel. Yeah, I, I put it on my channel. Um, if I had to do it over again, the only thing I'd probably do different is I would make a video and just rank it. And... Yeah. You know, and then that way, if he said no, fine. You know, I'd go sell it to somebody else. Um, and and I actually, you just put a call fire number in there and, and redirect it, or yeah. I mean, when I did his video, I put his number in there. Yeah. But yeah, if I was going to do it over, I would put like a a tracking number in there for sure. And then you know, and then direct it to to whoever. But sometimes, like it, you know, people are they're getting bombarded. You know, with SEO local. Yeah calling them and all these guys doing stuff for nothing and like I said I've done that before where I've told people when they start dickering with me I, I just tell them look just call me when you don't get any results and they all don't call back but the ones that do you know I can basically name my price um, and you know because because they know I'll, I'll get them results Oh, this is uh, this is why I like doing the review strategy because it's worked really well for me where I'll just shoot a quick review video of that business. So yeah. business name review. And then that way I'm doing like a goodwill thing for them. 
and those will rank really quick without a lot of effort. Um, and then I'll just uh, I'll just you know send them an email and say, hey, check it out. I made this awesome review video about your business, and I got it on the first page pretty quick. And that usually impresses the hell out of them. And then I'll say, if you want me to? I can also do this for you know best. Orlando restaurant, you know, and and have you come up under it or something. You know what I mean? As an example, I, I'll go after the right. bigger keywords after I do that goodwill campaign for them, and that works really well too. Because you're like doing something for them that's like nobody does. Your competition doesn't do that. They don't go and make a cool review video for them. Um, and if you've never used the business, I was telling Bill today on the call that I had with him. If you've never used the business, like let's say you wanted to do one for an attorney, all you got to do is go and Yelp and look for good reviews about that attorney and then bring those reviews to light in your video like do like a screen share and be like oh i'm thinking about getting a personal injury attorney because i need one and um i was looking at reviews of all the different ones out there and this guy's got a lot of really good reviews and then just bring out his reviews you know bring them to light and you're you're providing value to the community because you're saving them time from having to go look at reviews and then when you bring it, when you show the attorney, he's going to be like, whoa, that's really cool. This guy took time and actually looked for different good reviews of me and brought them to light in a video. So yeah. uh, it, works, awesome. it works really good, man. The law of reciprocity is so freaking powerful. You have no idea. It's like, I mean, I'm sure you do. It's just like extremely powerful. Like when you do something for someone, there's like this undying need for them to hit you back. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's been a huge secret to my success and stuff that I do. I just do stuff without ever expecting anything in return. You know, I just put it out there for them. And it, even if they're like, well, I don't want to work with you, at least I did something good for him. And he's going to remember me. That guy's going to remember me. If he doesn't work with me now, he's going to work with me later. So. Right. Yeah, and, that, and, and that's so true. That's something that you just reminded me of is I, I've had, you know, proposals out there. And a year and a half later, the guy will call me up and say, hey, I, I, I'm ready to go. So. Yep. Hey, if I could just leave this with everyone, Anthony. Um, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of your barbershop type video where you've got real the real person talking, real people speaking, and uh, I I just want to encourage people to use their iPhones. Uh, one because of the way the lens is designed and the size of the megapixel, um, but two the quality of the video that you can put up um, in HD. And, and just go in there. It's non-threatening to people. There's less stumbling and stuttering. And, uh, you know, a little light kit in an iPhone, and, and you're rocking. Your, your videos will blow people away. Uh, yeah, it totally will. Um, I, 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 if you do HD, it's obviously way better. But, like, um, the, the reason I just get stuff out there and done because, like, I don't want to get held back by that, you know. But you're absolutely right. I mean, if you can do it, uh, there's some some great courses out there on how to do video production with your iPhone. Uh, someone was telling me about one the other night at dinner. Uh, I don't know if if, if uh, any of you guys have heard of any. If you have, just drop them in the group. Um, I forgot what the name of was was of the one that I heard about the other day. But it's yeah. There's a there's a guy Jules who's got uh, iPhone Hero. I think it's called. I, uh, um, yeah, that's it. iPhone Hero. I think it's on ClickBank. Yeah, which is which is which is good. Um, he's got another, and, and I'll share this with the group. That for for ninety nine bucks, you can get, and if you if you're related to an educator, you can get a twenty dollar educator discount. So it's seventy nine bucks. But a, a software called ScreenFlow, which ScreenFlow will actually allow you to um, record desktop calls, but but also you can do real high end uh, editing of your videos. And Jules also has a, a ScreenFlow Hero is his other product that he has. I have that product, and uh, that's just amazing on how to how to segue, splice, uh, just a whole plethora of ways of using that inexpensive but high quality, high end editing software. So it's Mac based. So if you've got a PC, I'm sorry. Your SOL pal. <laughs> You said it, I didn't. That's funny. Awesome, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for jumping on here, Joe. Thanks for. Uh, I'm gonna leave you turned on. Your mic turned on, Joe. Thanks. Thanks for chiming in, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, Joe. Thank you very much, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, have a great day. I look forward to the rest of this call. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. And another thing on the, on those review, like when you're saying the review of the businesses, yep. we've split tested uh, talking head videos whiteboard and review videos 
And when we're ranking videos, somebody giving their review of the business, um, we get way more phone calls. Yep. And it's way, way, way better. It's more legit. Yeah. It's more legit. It's not like some fancy video that was paid for, right? It's like legit. It's like a real person doing it. Well, like when you're making a video, you're promoting yourself. You know, I make a video about my company. It's me talking about it. When someone else is talking about it, that gives, you know, uh, they put a lot of weight in that. Uh, they do. They sure do. Let me, uh, hey, Anthony. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I love doing was some, somebody uh, a, a while back had asked, you know, do you pick the keywords that you go after? Do you let the client, whatever? And I, I said, I usually let the client pick the keywords, but I'll kind of tell them, hey, you'll probably get a better response for this. But if they're insistent, usually the keywords that they're going after are either a joke, super, super yeah. easy. <laughs> right. They, you know, it's 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 ridiculous. You know, I want the best hot pizza delivery. Yeah. And, I do. I, I'll do you know, that too. A street. Yep. Hey, I'll do, hey, fine. Hey, no no problem. problem, buddy. Uh, you might have a better opportunity <laughs> with pizza delivery, but hey, you know what? I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah, because we know it. We think everybody knows it, right? I, I've said this before. I call it the acquired knowledge syndrome. We think because we know something, everyone else automatically knows it, and it's usually not the case. So, yeah, if someone wants you to rank for a super hot, fast pizza in Orlando, go and rank for that. <laughs> go and rank that for them because it ain't, it ain't nothing off your back, and it's going to make them super happy. If you don't do it, they're going to think that you're shafting them, and they're going to think that you're not like giving them the service that they want. So just give them what they want. You're going to make them happy, and it's not going to be anything off your back. I'm going to, uh, oh, and they're, and they're going to call you up in a week and say, hey, can you do this one too? Right. You know, and it's, it's going to be another easy one that they just, you know, happen to think about, you know, and it's like, yeah, I'll do this all day. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Rex, I'm going to try you again. Hopefully you're ready to go. Rex, are you there? I can hear you. Can you hear I me? can. All right. How's it going, my man? I'm happy to have you here. Super. Thank you. Uh, we're getting hammered over here in the coast. Uh, with what? With storm. With what? Where are you? Thunderstorm over here in Melbourne. Oh, are you? Okay, cool. So you're 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 just right across from me. You're about an hour and ten minutes away from me. Oh yeah, man. I'm hoping to hook up uh, one afternoon, maybe, and uh, maybe you can show me some of the tips you do on your uh, your uh, you know nightclubs and bars. For sure, I may do like a little meetup because Bill's over in Clearwater. We got some folks here in Florida. I may do a little meetup here. After I get uh, out of the weeds with all the stuff I got to do. But, yeah, I would love to do, do that for you. It's easy, easy, easy peasy, man. Clubs are great target-rich environments. They got lots of money to spend. Um, Except I didn't know if you had the ones over here locked down. No, I don't have them over there. I got, uh, I got Orlando. I got Panama City. I don't have them over there, though. So, by all means, go at it. All right. A few tips here would be cool. So Just don't go after the Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct. The uh, so hey, anyways, uh, just uh, really appreciate you and Frank, man. I mean, this has been like one of the most incredible. Uh, I've learned more in the last two weeks than I have in like the last three years. Cool. To be honest with you, that's uh, yeah, no, seriously. I mean, it's, and kind of what I've done is I've kind of made a transformation. I decided in like June to quit trying to learn how to do stuff. I'm hooked up with uh, you probably know Brian Anderson and Sid Michaels, and I've decided like they've already got delivery. I just want to sell. Yep. I'm tired of like trying how to learn stuff and then it kind of yes. sedge way. That is the right way to be, man. That's it right there. Exactly. So I, I've, tried, I've decided to sedge way and it just kind of rolled into itself. And, you know, uh, uh, Two Viper jumped up and I said, well, you know, we're, we're because that they're heavily video based, uh, auto syndications. In fact, that's primarily their whole thing is doing uh, videos out of the uh inventory stream it's a great product and it's syndicated across six different uh, um, social networks that are really targeted towards uh, autos so from there you know two viper x became then rsx and then then i looked at you and your stuff came on that just really like okay this is really making sense and then right after that david spray came out with video reputation which is like it's just like bang, 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 bang. So I've actually had more success in like the last month, three weeks than I have an entire three or four years. Um, and what I've really done is first concentrated on David's stuff, getting the, because it, it followed in your original guidance stuff, was like just get video reviews out. 
just do that. Yep. And that's, re that's really what his product is. It's absolutely an awesome product. And I'm not here to, I'm, I'm sure someday you might hook up with him. I, 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 I love Dave. I Dave's know, a good guy. I need to connect with him for sure. Yeah, so, uh, but he, uh, so, really kind of what my uh, um, question really revolves around, I kind of put, and I try, I'm sorry if I put a big rant in, it wasn't a rant, but a big series of questions in a group, and I try to break them down, is actually properly tagging the videos, tagging that I'm going to upload, and then, you had a, and then also pro properly tagging the, uh, the files for the, uh, um, I just put in my uh, channel if you want to take a you know look at it, maybe give you some advice, and also like f uh, videos. So what I did over the last couple of days, I went out and I did a bunch of local. I took my iPhone, okay, and a really horrible done. Except I mean the you know it's just me walking down Route One in front of the Nissan station, saying this is hey this is Rex Madden. I'm going to walk and review the Nissan station, and they're all in there looking like I'm an idiot. But I mean it was it was actually fun. I did about ten. That's okay though. I love doing that stuff, man. Sometimes people think that like uh, when I did the iPhone one, there were like ladies walking by and they were like all looking at us and stuff. And you just smile and go about your business, and they don't know what's going on. Sometimes they think you're some sort of movie star or something, you know. It's just it's, it's no. all you got to do, man. So these first couple that you're looking at are really the ones that I did in the last day or two. Or I just did with my iPhone. If you scroll down. You know, there you can see like David Sprague's, uh, and it's a really fabulous product. I mean, anybody that wants to do it. Now, not all of them. I haven't even like, I, I put RSS feeds on some of these guys, and it, you know, and I've really got them kind of ranking fairly high for like five star review. Uh -huh. Then I just, you know, uh, but like I said, I'm really unsure. Am I overkilling the tags? Am I not putting the right tags in? Am I not naming the video files correctly? Uh, I, you know, so that's really to take me to the next level of com comfort. You know, that's kind of my question is, how, you know, because what I'm going to do now with, and like, because Dave, you know, David's kind of, I don't want to say scurly, he's a pushy guy, so he gives, like, okay, you've got to have, you have like 10 days to put in 25 videos or you, you lose them. So I just went ahead and did a bunch. I know we're, we shouldn't really take that approach, but it's cool for me to, uh, uh, it was just, you know, to, for me to learn the product and then also now just be able to walk in and I can just come in and say, hey, this is what I've done for you. Yeah. And, you, you know, you click on any of these videos, hey, it ranks. On YouTube, they rank 100%, and on Google, they're ranking fairly well. But like I said, I really haven't done anything outside of the RSS feed on some mm -hmm. of them. And then the other mistake that I made, because I didn't under, I listened to David and not you guys, and so what I did was, like, you know, he said, don't put more than two videos per day on one channel. So I opened up, like, three other or two other channels, and I got those type of videos on two other channels. And why why, why would you say problem. that? I, I think putting up a lot of videos on one channel is the way to roll. Because he's an expert in reputation, and you're an expert in video. Mm -hmm. I'm be honest. Okay. With you. I mean, I, I think what he was concerned of, uh, you know, not understanding that you might get sandboxed, no. but then get come back. I really think he kind of under, misunderstood. No, that. no, 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 no. You're not gonna. No, it's actually gonna be good for your channel. They want you to jam out content. That's what that's what YouTube wants. They want you to put as much quality content as you possibly can create on your channel, because. You're just bringing people back to YouTube. You're keeping people in YouTube. You're keeping people engaged in YouTube. So. Definitely don't worry about that. Um, I think that, you know, I, it, I couldn't go through all of your videos right now on the call. That, that, that would definitely take forever. But, um, you know, like, for example, I have one. Um, you got over here, like, the main business review. I think this is the way to roll. Like, keep it. Like, I wouldn't do these ones mm -hmm. you got down here, like, five-star review. I probably wouldn't do that. Um, okay. I would probably just keep it with the word review. Um if that's the keyword you want to rank for, if you want to rank for Merritt Island Jaguar, uh, well, that's the name of the. Uh, well, the way David's system works automatically, he creates the video, and so what it does is he takes the, you know, he does the old nap thing. He takes the name of the business is Merritt Island Jaguar. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it autom it just puts Merritt Island because that's the city, and then that's the title of it. I mean, that was the other thing I wanted to ask you was it? I didn't change them because he. That was kind of his thing, but I think they're kind of long too. Yep. Uh, 
me see. I'm just curious. Jerry Merritt Island, perfect five star review. I mean, this is probably ranking. It's a pretty long ass tail keyword. Well, it, it should be ranking. Yeah, there it is. I pulled up a different one. I pulled up your coastal Hyundai, or Hyundai, whatever the hell it is. Yeah. yeah the, the one I just tag, <laughs> Well, the first tag is five star reviews. Ah, okay. And you have a tag for watermark. Those tags don't do anything, and your number one keyword that you're going after, make it your first yeah. tag. Okay. Okay, that's some good advice. Where is that one? Uh, where is that one, Frank? I will pull that one up. Um. Uh, right here, Coastal maybe, Hyundai. This one. Uh, let me see, because I've got you buried underneath the um, the comments. Yeah. Coastal Hyundai. I believe so. What? Yeah. What? What I did was I pulled. I, I'm in the uh, source. Okay, code, so, so I can do that too. View page source. And... Yeah, I just pulled it up because it's easier than pulling out my other junk. Stuff. So, so folks, let's say you wanted to do what we're doing right now, right? So what I did was, yeah. just so that you can see, what you do is you come over here to the white space on YouTube. If you want to find out, if you have two Viper X, you should be able to get the tags of the video right away. They, they hide it from us now, right? But let's say you don't have two yeah. Viper X and uh, you want to find out what the tags are. You right click in the white space of YouTube and you go to view page source. And then you're going to get a whole bunch of garbly goop. This is all the code. Well, what I do is instead of killing my eyes, I know where it is already on the page. But instead of you trying to kill yourself, all you do is you go to, I'm using Google Chrome right now. But every, every browser has something called a find. So I just go, went over here and then I go to find. And then there's a little box that opens up over here. So I'm just going to type in keyword. And it highlights it right down here. See it? And so those mm. are the meta tags for this video. So five star reviews, Coastal Hyundai, a Labby M, Coastal Hyundai. Okay, so you basically what you want to do um, is you definitely want to have the business name review as one one keyword. You should do that as your primary for all of them. The business name, right. whatever it is. So is it uh, is it is it Lavi M Coastal Hyundai? Is that the no. business name? No, Lavi M would actually be the reviewer's name. See, David's system automatically just generates it off a of file, and so I'm going. I'm trying to go back in and change them. Got it. Because I, I recognize, okay, like Lavi M needs to go. And so I tried to change it in YouTube, but I don't know if I actually en ended up being able to change it. Uh, yeah, if you're in the editor and you and you open up the edit video and you go down to the bottom where your keywords are, you can pull them out. Here's the thing, though. Lavi M, by having Lavi M, especially that way, you, every Lavi M video is going to automatically generate on the right hand side of YouTube uh -huh. because YouTube's going to say oh look at all of these videos with the similarity um, I always put in my name so when when you do a video search and I produce that commercial or that whatever you want to call it that review if you look on the right hand side of um, Anthony's screen there's a lot of similar not only the Hyundai but anything with Lab EM, which mm -hmm. we've got David Moss Toyota, those come in yeah. there. And it's not because it's on your channel, it's because Lab EM is connected. Uh -huh. So you can leave Lab EM in, it's a very small thing, but you want to make sure you've got that. I, that, I would take uh, it out. I, I, I would take it out. I would take it out. Just, just take it out. Uh, and, and I'll tell you why. Because you want it to be about like, you, like, who cares if, if 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 it says by Lab EM? If they watch the video, it'll say by Lab EM, right or whatever. So right, right. And and, and Frank, I, I'm not I'm not trying to step on your toes, bro. Uh, no, no, no. I, I just think it's like what you're saying, like by it's it's connecting on related videos too. So by you taking it out, it, it should take that out, right? And, and you you don't want them to go over to David Moss or whatever it is over there. You right. you really what you like you know. However, I don't know how David's system works. It's actually. Um, it's kind of cool to know that someone else has something out there that's doing the same thing that I do and is working and he's actually teaching it like me. 
Um, right. I, I know that David is a magic submitter guy. I know David's an awesome guy. I've hung out with him several times in real life, and he is like, like you know how when you meet people like and they have an amazing energy, like a glow about him. He's that kind of a guy. Like when you meet David Sprague, it's just like he is an amazing dude. Like I, 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 I every experience I've ever had with him is like this guy's got amazing positive energy. If you all want me to bring David Sprague on here, I will. I know him. He's a good friend of mine. Let me know. I will get him on a call, and we can ask him more about this program that he's got going on here. So it's, it's really cool to know that. That's the first thing. The second thing is um, w what I would do is I know the system spits this stuff out for you. Are you like – I don't know how his system works, but based on what you're telling me, it spits this video out for you, right? Does it like automatically yes. upload the video into your channel, or are you able to download the video yeah. onto your computer? No, it it automatically uploads it into a channel. But you can't. You can't. Okay, you, you, you got to go in and hook it up. You can't download right. it onto your system. It's. I not know. I don't know if you can, but that's not how they. He's got it set up. He's really got it set up that he wants it to be hooked. You know, the, you know again, the idea is to be hands so, off. So, so do you know if like the file name is is getting created the right way? No, I don't. That's that's probably the problem. That's why it'd probably be a real good thing. If you and him could get together, because uh, to be honest with you, I mean he's David's a rep guy. He's not a programmer. He doesn't. He's not an analyst. Right. You know, and he's a fabulous guy. I mean, you're right. I, I've known David for a number of years. He's, he's been amazing, a dude. Teacher. Right? Amazing, dude. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, well, look, and, he, and he's constantly moving to what the market needs, and he seeds this. And and, and again, his idea behind producing this is that it's a lead-in. Okay, now here's a quality product. You can sell to someone for very cheaply, or maybe give one as a, uh, and then that's, that's a lead into a bigger product. You know, his whole, like I said, the guy's just all about marketing. Yeah. But he's not. He could probably use some. I think someone at your level that he would respect talking about some of the technicalities to make them rank better. Yeah. You know, because he's you know. You know um, so and he's not maybe as much about ranking, but I think with just a little bit of tweaking. It could, right. without us having to go in there. Okay. And I would certainly hope everyone else would, because uh, this is all green screen and all that. All I do is I went down and took a picture of the guy's uh, office there. I just kind of strolled in, took a picture of the office, strolled out, uploaded it. Okay. And it, then he just creates this amazing video, and then it's, it automatically scrapes the five-star review. So, I mean, I would personally, I mean, I hope other people would do as well. I mean, you, the values are tremendous in this thing. Yeah. So so uh, so so to help you out, right? What I would, what I think, okay, what I think right, I would right. do, uh, I, I, we definitely got to go back and change all these, right? Um, I would like, here's what I would do, it, just just to keep it really simple, right? Let's 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 keep it simple, silly. Let's not make right. this more complicated than it is. The main keyword that the, the main that keyword that you want to go after is the business name review, right? Everything else is kind of right. crap, right? Like it's just filler that you don't need there, that that's not necessary. So. I would just go in, change all of your titles to business name review, and then the very first thing you want to do is in your in your you know how to do this, right? I'm assuming you know how to do this. You know how right. to go in and edit the video, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I would then put that same thing, business name review, in the description box, and then all this other info that's there. You can leave all that there. That's cool. Just make it the primary keyword that goes in there. Um, even I would even do it uh, before their URL because their URL there doesn't benefit you in any way. It's not your URL, right? Yeah. So I would put it before right. their URL. I'd put the keyword there, and then I would put the keyword in the tags. Uh, you don't have to put a lot of tags because really you're just trying – the okay. whole objective of this is you want to rank for the business name review, right? It's the easiest keyword in the world for All you right. to rank for and for you to get a client with. So. What you want to do, it's not about ranking for a lot of keywords when you're doing this strategy. It's about ranking for that one right. keyword. So all you got to do is, is focus on that one keyword in the title, the description, the tag, and the video file name. And that's how I am able to do it so fast is because the whole video is focused around that one keyword. Everything is focused around that one keyword. And you know how to do tags and stuff, right? You know how to go in there and do that? Okay, yeah. so great. Yes. So what you can do too is you can go create another channel and you can go if if you want to control the file name. What I would do if it, I would leave this channel because this is your brand, but I would go take another channel, go create the videos, upload the videos into that channel. You can actually download the videos right from YouTube. I don't know if you know that or not. Uh, 
Let me show you how to do that. You can use Download Helper. That's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is you actually just do it right in your right in your YouTube channel. If you don't want to use Download Helper, you can download your own videos because it's your channel. A lot of people don't know that you can do that. Yeah. Let me just pop into my channel really quick here. Uh, 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 let's see. Let me sign in. And then you can just download them and then change the file name and then re-upload them. Uh, to another yeah, channel? Yeah, to, to your auto marketing rockstar channel. So you could have a channel that you're not uploading them. Like, so right now you have it connected to his program and they're going from his program into right. auto marketing rockstar. Are you allowed to add another channel for them to upload into? Yeah, I yeah I so could, just do yeah, that sure. like the dummy channel. So that's like your dummy channel where you just throw them up there and then you download them uh, okay. and delete them. And then you put them into Auto Marketing Rockstar. Okay, change the titles and all that stuff. Okay, yeah. Good advice. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, so these are all my videos. Uh, let me see. I gotta find the video manager. Video manager. Here it is, right here. Video manager. D. And right here, download MP4. So you just right. just go to so how I did that was I just selected the video. Do you? So the so these are all my videos in my channel. I just select it, and then video manager over here. Do you have? And then where edit is, just hit download MP4. And then you could just literally just sit there, upload them and download them. And then you could change the video file name yeah. and re-upload them into Auto Marketing Rockstar. Okay, and that way. Cool. You're in control of the file name, the tag, everything, you know? Right. So for the actual one, I want to change the file. I would change it to Space Coast Honda Review. To change, I just, that, that's all I'd, I'd name that file, right? Uh, yeah, it would be, it would be like, uh, bus, what is that, Coastal Hyundai uh, Review yeah, dot right, MP4. Like dot MP4. Now later, if I wanted to actually rank something a little higher, what I could, I, could I do that? Then I would put like, say, Melbourne, comma, Orlando, comma, or no comma, just a space, or how's that? How would that work? Like you were showing in an example of how you have that ninja technique where you put upload a video and you actually put three kind of cities in there or four cities locally. Oh, like when I was doing that when purpose, I was doing the barber but, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like that was a that was a different case. Like I wanted a, that video to rank for a bunch of stuff, but for this particular, like what you're trying to do with this, you don't want that video to rank for all those keywords because you want to get them as a client first, uh -huh. right? Okay. But, so after right, you get right, him correct. as a client, then you would go, and I, what I would do is, um, I mean, if they want you to rank that video again. But yeah, you would go and do do what I teach you. Um, but you, would, I would probably go and do it with another video, so you could leave that one ranking. Mm -hmm. You know, I would like charge them to create yeah. another video, and then optimize that video so that it shows up under all the different keywords. Okay. Yeah. The question I had now, when I optimize it, though, do I put a comma between the yeah. keywords and the title? Yeah. Okay. Comma. Yeah. Okay. Not a space. Yeah. Okay, comma cool. in between the keywords. Exactly. Sorry, I didn't understand. My bad. Well, it's because I should know that, and I was just... No, it's okay. You shouldn't... Dude, dude it's dude, okay. Man, I'll tell you. I'm, Bro, I'm it's like, okay. I'm it's okay. Dude, it's okay. Man. Like, it, you're always <laughs> learning in this business. It never freaking stops, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, I'm just excited, though, man. I got to be honest with you. This is absolutely amazing. This is what you guys are sharing with all of us. It's just absolutely amazing. Plus, the whole group is, like, throwing everything in there. It's, like, unbelievable. Awesome. I'm going to get... Uh, I'm gonna, it is. Best I'm going to get on the horn with... Uh, with, with, uh, with um, Oh, I freaking forgot his name now. <laughs> David, yeah. Uh, but, you know why? Because I got David over here texting me in the chat, and I'm getting confused. Um, no pipes. I don't know what Dave's talking about. I'm going to have to read it. He's talking about something. I'm going to read what you're writing, Dave, in a second. Uh, okay, so what what else can I help you with in your business? Like, this is what you're focused on, right? And you say, you're saying you've had more success this past month than you've had in, in three three years of doing this stuff. You, are you actually getting clients? Right. 
Well, I mean, what I'm actually doing now is walking in, and I'm getting, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I've got some, and then I'm also getting, because uh, the automobile industry is tough. You're selling to you car Oh, I get it, bro. Right? You're trying to be I get salesman. It. It's, it's, and yet the money's incredibly lucrative. Yeah, they spend, they spend, a, they spend a crap load of money on advertising. So once, once, and they're stuck in the past, so this is providing me more sedgeway and callbacks you know, it's the whole combination of things all at one time. I mean, the linchpin, I think, to me, really, is your training. Because I can have the videos. I can have the uh, Brian's Automotive Syndication, which is fabulous, too. I mean, I have them. But the linchpin has been, seriously, this training. I'm not just saying it to say that. It. It's just really pieced it all together. Because I could never get anything to rank. Yeah. And now I've like got, like, 20-some things ranking for some key words in, in the first page of at least yep. YouTube and several yep. of them on Google. So, I mean, it's yeah, like... Bro so no, this is like bang. Yeah, bro. If you go back and you just fix the titles and the descriptions and the tags on all these, uh, do that okay. before you go and download them all and change the file names because you may not have to because this is such an easy keyword to rank for. And so what I would do is I just go and just change the titles, the descriptions, and the tags. Just run that as a batch process on all of them, right? Don't even RSS right. them. See what happens. If they're ranking, leave them alone. They don't need to do any more. They serve their purpose, which is to, for you to now walk into the dealership and show them what you did and get them as a client to go rank more stuff, right? Minimum effective dose on these right. videos. You really want to put the ranking power into the ones that you're going to get paid for. Okay? Right, right. Yeah, so. Oh, right, yeah, so. And, and you know, like I said, your video. Are, when are you going to do or Is Module 4 good to go? No, now, not yet, or? man. I'm, I'm, I've been a little bit in the weeds with my mom being here. And um, yeah. I am working on it, though, I promise. Um, it's it's gonna get done by Sunday, come hell or high water. I might I might have to pull an all nighter uh, Saturday night, and it'll it'll be it'll be uploaded by Monday. So I may I may have to pull an all nighter Saturday night, and I'm gonna work all day Sunday. But it will be done, come hell or high water. If I have to shut everything off, it's gonna get done. So everything steps four, five, six, and the quick steps to. Um, to make it two grand and then also I'm gonna like just go a little bit more on how to get all this stuff for free because everyone wants me to cover how to get all this stuff for free if you're doing reviews so I I have a little module yeah. on that too so that'll all be done by Sunday because it has to be done by Sunday because yeah. I got a whole bunch of other stuff I want to work on after that next week and that's really like helping all you guys get guys and girls start making some money like I want to really focus in on helping yeah. everyone start making some money so that we can have an awesome end of year and great holiday season um, yeah, yeah. I'll let you get, but also just like some of the little tips that you provide us, like making sure we get that little header up there. And I just use whatever YouTube does, and, and putting a, a you know a, a name, a, a you know a name in there, and hooking up to Google Plus and Facebook page, and even that when walking into the customer, because these guys all have IT stuff, and it's all crappy. Right. Yeah, yeah, and those are all little nice points that aren't that hard to do but i never did before either i just well what what does it matter right but it, it does, does. Matter, it so. does because nobody's doing this stuff for them right is that what you mean like are you talking right, about like so. the review videos yeah correct yeah, yeah. No, no like think about that like your competition isn't doing that for them but i mean I've, I've never seen anyone else teach what i've taught until you brought this up with dave sprague uh nobody's doing that man nobody's out there doing that to get clients so when you show up and you do that for them, they're just like, whoa. <laughs> like the law, law of reciprocity and goodwill just kicks in like crazy. Um, and they're just floored yeah. by it. It's so effective. It's, it's unbelievable how effective it is. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, way to go, Frank, on answering yeah. all these questions for me, man. I really appreciate it. Frank's on the ball here while I'm sitting here cackling. Uh, all right, cool. So, Rex, well, thank yeah, you have we helped you? Have I helped you? <laughs> Are you kidding uh, me? Immensely, okay, great. immensely. I mean, you helped me immensely, and I appreciate the uh, group's patience and letting me go through uh, this a little bit. But, no, you've helped me immensely. Because uh, the next step, really, and I might ask you for some more help later. Please is do. When I start pulling this, when I pull this in, when I start pulling this in, because they'll, they'll go into the fall, and they're going to be open now because they just had all the big right. sales, you know, the big sales. I don't have any more sales, really, until year yep. end. And, and now is when I really want to hit it. So it's almost like, you know, the, the, the timing, you know, God's like said, okay, this is the time to go do right. this. So, uh, yes, it so, is. Uh, anyways, I get it. Cool, man. Right. Thank you both, man. No really problem. appreciate it. All right. Well, I'm going to mute Rex. And some of the other folks that had wanted to come on have left. Curtis has left. And Chris has left. So... 
I want to do one more hot seat. Or should I answer some questions? We've been doing hot seats for an hour. Uh, questions are... I, I would... Um, I'd, I'd go with some questions. Go some questions? Man. Okay. Should I do yeah. these? I'm going to do these ones over here. All right. You 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 go and uh, you grab you. This is your yeah. I'm show, gonna do brother. these ones over here so that we don't have to sit here and type them later because that that we we found out last week that was kind of a nightmare. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I went to the bathroom, walked the dog, and came back, and there are forty questions, and I'm like, there's no you can't reply under it. It's like holy shit. It, shoot, it was shoot. it was crazy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so if, if you if you ask the question and you're not on on this call, you're gonna have to watch the call. I'm gonna basically put that down here. If you weren't on the call, watch the call. We answered your question on the call. All right. So, Thomas Pacheco, when doing a review video for a local biz to gain them as a client, is it best to do on a channel you already have established or on a newer channel that you're trying to build up? I have a SV channel that has some authority. Rank number three in 25 minutes. I did another video on a channel that I'm trying to build up using my company name, and it is stuck at 12 to 13. Keeps jumping around on page two. Uh, it depends, Thomas. Uh, if you're, I'm okay with putting stuff on my channel because it's just going to build authority for my channel, anyways. So I really don't care, uh, me personally. Uh, and and I don't really like. There's obviously some channels I have that I don't want anybody knowing what I'm doing, and they're not associated with my name at all, and no one's ever going to figure out that it's me. But like this stuff that I'm doing, you know, where I need I need to do it so that you all can see what I'm doing in our group, or I need to like prove that it's me when I'm doing a webinar. I have to do it in my channel. It's not going to hurt my channel. It's not going to hurt your channel either. You're out there doing reviews about businesses. You're providing content. Um, so. If you have a channel that's cranking and is doing really good and it you put a video up and it's up there in no time, by all means, use that channel because you want this to be minimum effective dose. Now, if you've got another channel that you do want to build up and it's your company channel and you want to build the authority of that channel, then by all means, stick the review videos in there. The more videos you add in that channel, the more authority will get quicker. So, uh, And you don't even have to go crazy with doing all the steps. You don't have to do... You know, on, on, the, on this channel that you're doing this review videos for your company, you don't have to do uh, all of steps five and you don't have to do all of step six. You don't have to do that. You may find that you just have to throw the video up, optimize it really good with the title, the description, the tags, and then just do the RSS. And you may rank just with that, you know. So I would do that first, like just uh, before you go and do all the steps, I would go and add another video and then optimize the video and do the RSS. Then do another video. Kind of like just batch process everything, you know. Uh, and, and if like after 10 videos you're not ranking by doing that with that channel and the, all those other videos, then you would do another step to all the other videos. You would then go and do the tweeter, the, the tweeter, the Twitter deal to the other videos and batch process that and see what happens to those 10 videos. That's how I would do it. I, I mean that... There's many roads lead to Rome, so there's all, all obviously other ways to do it, but that's how I would do it. Uh, and then you would start to have authority on that channel, and then you could just focus on branding your channel, branding your company, and just adding those videos to that channel if that's what you wanted to do. A lot of people say that about Rome, <laughs> but every movie I've seen, there's only one dirt road that goes. <laughs> uh, I love you, man. You're crazy. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, next, uh, Thomas, can you show us some examples of how you are getting video views from posting on local Facebook pages without coming off as spammy? I would have to go hunt those down, and I, I wouldn't have time to do that right now. Um, we talked a little bit about that this okay. morning. Um, this, this was from, like, last night. Not Thomas and I specifically, but if you go into a local channel – or, or you go into a channel and you build up a reputation for giving content back to the channel, whatever it is that you're posting in, hey, you know, happy birthday so-and-so or whatever, and you're in there. And then after a couple of weeks, you say, hey, guys, can you take a look at this video I made for so-and-so, and you drop the link. People will go and look at your video and, and just say, hey, what do you think about it? Can you leave me a comment? They'll go take a look at it, then you're creating views from the Facebook page. But if you just go and drop yeah. your link, you're probably going to have the shit deleted. Yeah, it's it's like, um, it has to be related. Like, um, it has to be a local fan page. It has to be a local community page in Google+. 
uh, yeah, you will get your shit deleted if, if you don't make it, like, if it's not relevant. And then, you know, it's like you said, asking for an opinion. People love to give their opinion. You know, I just made this business, I just made this video for this business, and, you know, uh, I'm kind of new at this, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a local here. What do you think about this? You know, that's definitely a great way to do it. Um, and, and that's why I haven't, I haven't really taught this yet, because I'm still messing with it. So, um it's not, it's not something that like I'm, I like to test stuff first before I go and tell you guys to do it. Uh, but it's something that I'm trying out and I've, I've done okay with it so far. I mean, it hasn't been great. I don't know if it's good enough to get the videos ranked. You know, it's like hard for me to say. Um, yeah, I haven't seen a, a big enough footprint um, going back, like follow, no follow, this and that. Um, but for people just clicking on it and, and a couple of views... Yeah, it, it, it does that sometimes, depending on the right. group. But, you know, the way that I was – my thought process was if, if I was dropping them into a local Facebook group and it was a local video related to that, you know, what was in that group, the views are coming from that group. That was kind of like my thought yeah. process behind it. So, But it's like hard for me to tell if it's – I'm getting views, but I just don't know if that's what's helping them rank or not. You know, it's like hard for... – Well, the cool part is, is, you know, if you do – if you – and another – thought that just popped into my head is you drop it to the um, owner of the business who owns the Facebook page into a message and you say hey I made this video for you reviewing your your store um, just thought you might want to take a look at it you know and you can post it in your group if you want then all of a sudden everybody in the group's going to be clicking it but I don't know about ranking I just know that'll get you a yeah of views. yeah that's actually a really good idea to find the business, uh, the business's fan page. That's actually a really good idea. Yep. And think about it. See, see, that's what's great about group masterminds. I was on the right Absolutely. track, but I didn't think about that track. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, it, well, and the only reason that I say that is sometimes, like, if it's a niche that's local and there isn't like a standout company, I'll just make a page. And the very first thing in there is a couple of pictures, this and that, and, you know, um, I'll just, like, let it sit. But the very first post is a video of the review, you know, for a local company and just let it kind of sit there. And I'll be like, hey, you know, I made this fan page about your niche, you know, and put a video on there. You might want to take a look at it. And then all of a sudden they're talking about it. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it's an awesome idea, folks. Make note of that. Um, okay, so. Go ahead and steal uh, it. Here's another one. He, he, <laughs> Thomas Pichico's on fire here, man. He's got his Tommy gun going. Um, was ranked number 13. Tommy. My video has completely disappeared. It looks like it was de-indexed. Uh, doesn't even come up in a phrase match search. I, I would never buy... Here's one thing. I would never buy video views to these review videos that I'm doing for businesses. You shouldn't have to do that. They should rank without you having to buy views for that. So... That's the first thing. I, I wouldn't buy views to those. Uh, you don't need to do that. Those should... We, we took this conversation, just so you know, further down, and this was last night, we took it out of all of these questions okay. and, and dropped it into another discussion. Okay. And I said, one of the things you don't want to do with this buying views is buy more views than their website would ever get in a yeah. month. Yeah. He didn't buy a lot, though, 81 no, but it, yeah, but it, if Chestnut Dental um, or dentist in that area is getting ten yeah. views, Google sees all of a sudden eighty-one to the video and goes, "Hey, right. wait, whoa, right. what's going on here?" You know, and that's just another footprint we're giving yeah. them. Okay, uh, and I'm, I'm just answering this for folks listening. Um, uh, Absolutely, and we'll, we'll end up getting down there. Um, so, so my my suggestion, anyone listening to this call is when you're doing these review videos, so this is the business name review, right? We're, we're doing this video to get the get it, their attention, to show them, you know, doing our goodwill campaign. We're doing this for them. We don't, we shouldn't have to buy views. Like, this should rank without views. Like, so don't worry about, if, I mean, if anything, if you're going to buy something, buy tweets. Don't buy views. Go buy retweets. You're better off buying retweets than you are buying views, Okay. There, I said it at the one hour, 14 minute mark on this coaching call. <laughs> Do not buy views right out of the gate. It is better to go buy retweets. Okay? All right, cool. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if his video disappeared. Um, 
It did. It it's it's been. I think it's still. It's not de-indexed. No. It's not. It's not gone because in his channel, and and stuff, he has no warnings. Yeah. He never got an email saying we're jamming. Listen, this in. happened to me yesterday. Um, uh, this just, happened to me yesterday. It's really weird, yeah. man. Like I was I was working on the um, I'm working on the um on the on the iPhone customer right, and I want I was trying to go after best iPhone screen repair. It's only got like 74,000 competing pages, not a lot. And if I go and try to Google this, Hello there, this uh, is if I go and try to Google uh, this keyword, it's not even showing up. It's not even indexed. It wasn't yesterday. I don't know if it's going to be here today. Let me see. This is really weird. So I don't know. If, These things are starting to make me think the sandbox I'm telling bad. you, I think it is because... I'm still fighting it, man. I'm still I, fighting I think, it, but you guys Bro, I think there it. is because, like, why wouldn't this be here? Like, I didn't shoot any links to it. I didn't do any that, – that's not it. That's the original video that I did. And, look, that's titled iPhone Repair. I need best iPhone um, iPhone screen repair Kissimmee. And then if I come over here and I do Anthony Aries, which is my channel name, and I type YouTube, it should show up for sure, right? It's not indexed at all, see? It's not even – it's not even indexed huh. at all. That is crazy. Right? Because you're not – but in, in your, in your um, list, in your video manager, there's no red um, thing that says we yanked your video? No. It's right there. There it is right there. No? Well, then I'm going to have to say that they are – But then look at this, right? The because... simple Acme Cure Review. Check this out. Simple – Cure review. Oh, it's not there. Crap. Somebody named their channel Mr. Oz. Oh, did they? Is that not oh, yeah, they sick? Did. Yeah, that video. Holy crap. Somebody's going after a lawsuit. Hmm, it's not here now. That's weird. Let me pull this up really quick. It's funny, though, that this is going on. I don't know why this is happening. I've never seen this happen before. So I don't know. Yeah, it's not here now. Damn it. That's really strange. Hmm. Let's see if that got sandboxed, too. Yeah, see, look, it's not there. Isn't that weird? That is weird. It's not even indexed. It was there yesterday for my webinar. Showed up yesterday, but then like it'll disappear, See, and, that, and then it, and it'll dis that it'll disappear. Then it'll come back with a vengeance and be right up at the top. It's so weird. Exactly, and that's why I think I think a lot of what it's triggering is like a sudden viewership to it, and and when you put something in like especially during a webinar, you know you got a thousand people on that webinar, and suddenly everybody's going to their. Um, their browser and searching you and clicking on it and I think that shows weird traffic so maybe that's why they kind of pull it off right. for a minute see if it'll right. clear up because what they were doing to people who were buying traffic uh, case in point me is they were pulling the video down and re-uploading it for you sending you an email saying we pulled your video down because you bought traffic and we put it back up over here so that the links would mm -hmm. be broke, but I don't see them doing that anymore, and I'm also not buying traffic anymore, so yeah. I'm not, but that's what they were doing. They were pulling it down and putting it back up, and they may have said, you know what, that's too much of a pain in the ass for us. We're just going to yep. pull it down, yep. and we'll put it up in a yep. couple of days. For sure. Uh, it's crazy, and, and, and Ed's concerned because Ed Ryan, Ed says, Mike says it's yeah, on Ed his. says that, you know, we teach that in the course. Yes, Ed, th th I got to change that training. It's something I have to change. That's why I'm updating those steps. Because um, it's not something that we recommend you do anymore. Um, and, you know, things have changed a lot. That's the thing. Things do change. You just can't get frustrated by them. I'm going to go in and change it so that um, so that folks are aware of that. And uh, it literally, like, I'm – while everyone's going to be out in the sun – down here in Florida, I'm going to be in my man cave recording all of my videos and updating them for you guys. So, um, 
Just just know that. I'm going to bust and my you, little choppies. And, and you'll know. I'm going to be pulling some all-nighters just to get this done for you and, and uh, so that you guys don't make that mistake and, 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 uh, and get in trouble. I don't want anybody to get in trouble. I'm not sure what – I think I don't think they're targeting Thomas. I think it's just what they're starting to do. There's some sort of weird sandbox going on. It's happening with my videos too, and my channel has authority. So the best thing to do – when that happens, is kind of just let it simmer because it's going to come back. This happened, I think I told you all this last week. When I was doing the launch with Lisa, I ranked for the keyword uh, JVZoo, um, JVZoo Marketing Mayhem Review right before the launch for Tube Viper X. I ranked for that. And, and it was part of the sales page. So it was like on there as a result of something that I did really quick. And I was freaking out. Because we were going live with a launch and all of a sudden my videos disappeared. And they weren't indexed or nothing. I was like, what the heck is going on? Well, in a few days into the launch, all of a sudden my videos came back with a vengeance. And I've won two spots over here to my website popped up. So, I was going to say, you have Yeah, five. so it's just like, I, I think that they're just like, Things are bouncing around, and they're just like checking the integrity of stuff. Same with bonus too. That was another keyword that um, that I I ranked for right when we w right before we went live, and then the day we went live, the rankings were gone. I was like, "Are you kidding me right now?" <laughs> well, it may be a YouTube and Google um, am am armadillo yeah, update. Yeah. I'm not armadillo, sure. that's funny. <laughs> um, all right. I don't know why this is. Uh, I hate. I hate Internet Explorer. Shut this. Dude, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's, it's, Heather it's uses bad. it. We we have arguments Plus, about it all the time. It's her preferred browser, and and I just I'm just like I can't believe we live in the same household, and that's your preferred browser. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. When purchasing video embeds from other five or SEO clerks, do you have them stagger the submissions over several days, or do they happen all at once? I like to stagger them. Uh, I usually ask, ask them to do that for me. I'll tell them to stagger it. Uh, I don't know what you do, Frank. Uh, no, I, I stagger. I don't want to get... Um, I don't want to... Yeah, I don't either. Um... <laughs> it just sounds so wrong. <laughs> and then came back on page one again. Yeah, Noreen. I have recently bought 200 views to one of my videos and it did not cause any problems. I know that others have had problems with buying views, but in my limited experience, it has been buying thousands of views. Yes, Noreen, definitely... Always keep the views. If you're gonna buy views, like keep them very, very, very minimal. Like really, really slow. Um, okay, Gabriel. What about getting video views from posting on local Facebook groups related to your targeting dental services? How can this be done in a safe and productive way? Uh, if you get real folks to watch, then do it. Google YouTube knows that a bunch of folks from Lorraine watching a video about Lorraine dentists makes sense. Why the hell from people from Russia be watching your Lorraine dental video all of a sudden? Makes sense, but once approved in the group, how should I persuade their members to watch my video? Cannot just post it on the news feeds group. It will look spammy as hell. What you really want to do is just kind of like, um, it, like the way that I've been doing it is I've posted in the comments section. I don't know if I clarify that. When I, when I posted that, did I clarify that, that I was putting it in the comments section and not doing it as a, face, a, a fan page post? I can't remember. Do you remember, Frank? I, don't I think remember. I think I said that I do it in the comment section of stuff that's got like a lot of comments. I'll kind of like try to figure out how to tie in the video with it. Uh, I I see. So you you want to respond to yeah. a comment, not Correct. create a post. That's how I do it. Okay. I try to find a I, and, I try and, to find a that's... post that that I can relate. I can tie the video into or or you know what I can say too is. Like uh, one thing that I've been doing is um, I, I'm thinking about like I love like if I've never gone to the business, I'll be like I'm thinking about using this business and I found these reviews, um, you know, and then I'll go and pull up the reviews on my screen share, you know, my screen capture video on Yelp or whatever, and then uh, I'll I, so I'll make that video and then I'll drop the video in the in the in the in the comment section and say hey has anyone from here locally used these guys I made a video about them I went and like I, I found some reviews on Yelp. Has anyone in the in, in here used them? You know, and then that kind of stirs up some conversation and uh, it gets people to look at the video. 
and, and, and when you do it in the and, com- and, and again, that's yeah. The and when you do it in the comment section, all the people that comment it all get pinged on their notifications, and then they all come back <laughs> and look at it. And it's just about being clever with how you tie stuff in. Is all it is. That's that's what I've been doing. Again, I I don't. The reason I haven't taught this or brought this up is because I don't have like any way of knowing if it's helping with my rankings or not. It is getting me views though, and I'm getting local views. I'm not getting like tons of them, but it's like what Frank says if. Claremont Dental or whatever dental here that uh, Thomas is going after, if they only got like 81 searches a month, you know, then then it, they shouldn't be getting more views than that. So if you get enough, you know, if you get like 10 or 20 views, it's usually pretty good. It's like showing legitimacy to your video, which is good. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, build relationships, drop some cool shit. Speaking of dental services, when I search for my videos in Google, precise location enabled is showing on page two, but when I switch to Google using incognito mode, an unknown location is showing on page one. Number one for dentist service plus my town and is Romanian, obviously. Just so you know, incognito also tracks what your mm-hmm. cookies are. So... If you really want to do that, use a separate browser, clear your history, clear your cache, go into private, um, and that's why I use like uh, a, a different browser that I don't use normally that I, I need my history on, um, and that'll show you where you're ranking. Plus, drop it in the group and say, hey, somebody check this keyword for me. Yeah. But incognito in Google Chrome still tracks your past history. Nice. Um. Yeah. Use this for private browsing. By the right. Way. It's not private. <laughs> um, I don't know what point he was trying to make in here. I don't know. He, w- he was trying to say that he's, he's, he's getting different oh. results using different when he uses it local and says I want to check it here for me he's on page two when he does Google world generic with no location he's on page one got it okay I don't know why that happens <laughs> it's, it's it's just it's it's literally it's cookies I, and I bet you hundred bucks and, Google and doesn't know why it happens want. either <laughs> Not all of them. (laughs) All right. Uh, George Case, one question is, how does Anthony come up with an estimate of how much people are paying per month to appear in the Google Ads on page one? Okay, we'll go over that. Uh, This is actually something I was thinking about doing. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but it's just a theory that I have. I thought about – okay, so th- this is something I'm going to test out again. Please don't take my word for it. I don't know if this works or not. This is just like one of my harebrained ideas that I had this week. And what I thought about is I was talking to a friend of mine, a guy named Sam Bell. Uh, he, he, I believe he's in this group. I think I got him in here. Um, he's a very prominent traffic guy. And um, a, a long time ago, we used to launch Jack in the real estate space together. It was me, Sam, and Derek Pierce. We used to always compete against each other. And Sam was also top-notch SEO guy, but he decided to drop doing SEO and he decided to focus on pay traffic a few years ago. But he had come up with a strategy for launch jacking that was working really good for him. What he would do is he would make a video, a YouTube video about the product and he would go and pay on Google AdWords and drive traffic to the YouTube video uh, in his Google AdWords, which was freaking brilliant because what ended up happening was he had a huge, like a really high uh, quality score from Google AdWords, which is really important. The higher your quality score, the cheaper your clicks are. And it was like this little loophole that he figured out because he was like using a, a Google URL in his ads, they like instantly gave him a high quality score on his ads, which made his ads really cheap. And so he had shared this with me a long time ago, like two or three years ago, and he was doing really well launch jacking this way. And he was getting on some of the big launches with YouTube videos and just paying pennies a click. And, you know, these were like $1,000 products, so his commissions were huge. He was killing it. He was doing really well with it. I think he came up with a whole course on how to do it. I don't think it's available anymore. I think he took it down because he's just focused on his business right now. So, anyways, I was thinking that this could be something we could do with local. I started thinking to myself, well, why couldn't we do that with local? Why couldn't we make – why couldn't we take our clients, get their videos, and then just do – um uh, like 
Google Ads on their YouTube videos, so just drop their YouTube video links in the Google Ads, we would have really high quality score, so the clicks would be really cheap. And then we could just charge the business so much per month uh, to manage that ranking for them. So let's say it cost us 100 bucks per month. We could charge the business anywhere from 200 to 250 bucks per month and make a spread on what it cost us to keep the video up there. And then they would pay us to manage that for them, which is what Sam does for a living. This is what Sam's business is. Sam owns, Sam owns a business called PPC Boutique. And he's got millions of dollars under management right now. So he's got all these clients that he manages all of their um, he manages all of their ad campaigns, and he, he so he collects a percentage of the millions of dollars that he manages. I think it's fifteen percent. So if he's got a million under management, he's he gets fifteen percent to his company, which is about one hundred and fifty grand uh, for man so for managing that campaign uh, or you know managing. And Google. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's a uh, he's certified. He's in Google Engage. He's a big deal. Uh, he's a really smart guy. I think I have him in the group. If I don't, I'm going to add him in here. Um, I'm I'm basically going to be hiring Sam to do all my paid traffic because I just don't have time to do it anymore, and it just makes sense for have him do it because he's he's really good at what he does. But so like you could, I was thinking that I maybe we can have some sort of a module or something where we could do this for businesses too, where like you could just charge them a monthly to have their video show up for the really competitive keywords and you don't have to worry about banging them out and ranking for them. And there are businesses that'll do that. They'll just pay monthly for you to manage their, their, their paid advertising because they don't know how to do it. Um, it. It's just an idea. Don't tell anybody, just, man. You know people are listening to us, right? You know there are people on this webinar, they're hearing what, do you mean? what you're saying. It's okay. Like I, I'm gonna, it, 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 if you want to run with it, you can. I, I I haven't tested it, so I don't know if it works. I, I would have to test it out and see if businesses would be willing to do that. I would imagine that they would. I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, well, here's something for you to here's here's an add-on for it. You're spending say thirty-five bucks to buy rank views, Twitter retweets, and everything else. What about just taking that thirty-five bucks and putting the ad out, and 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 that'll help drive yeah, up the rank for sure. And then you turn around and say, "Hey, look, I did this, and I want five hundred yeah, bucks totally. for it." You totally do that. I'm just wondering that now you got now. I don't know if it'll right stick, but yeah, I mean, it might. You know, I'm not it sure. Might. But you would think locally, Google's going to feed Google totally. advertising. Totally. totally. I mean, we know I can actually have. I could talk to Sam. I have a meeting with him uh, Wednesday. I'll talk with him on Wednesday and ask him if I could come in, have him come in here as a guest speaker, and maybe talk a little bit more about the strategy because he did it. He launched Jack using it, so he knows a little bit more about it than I do. And, and this is a theory. I would have to like you know test it and see if we can get businesses to do it. But yeah, I don't see why a business wouldn't pay. I mean, you know, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this right now. If we type in Orlando personal injury. I'll tell you this right now. These guys right here that are paying this money, they are not managing this shit. <laughs> okay? I, I know the no, guy that owns no I know uh, Kevin Nation, the guy that owns this law firm. He is not sitting there managing his pay per click. He's not doing it. <laughs> okay? He's got a firm that's handling it for him. Uh, same with this guy, Robert Rubenstein. I know him too. I know all these guys because I, I used to network a lot when I had my uh my my company was called Luxury uh, Properties, and we sold a lot of luxury homes. And we had uh, some of our clients were some of the biggest lawyers in town. This guy Morgan and Morgan, this his firm does about two hundred million a year. He's a big baller. Morgan and Morgan is not sitting here running his ads on Facebook or on YouTube. It's not happening. Um, um on Google. Uh, so they they hire well think they hire firms to do it. There's Google Engage right exactly. For That's you. what Google engages. So they hire firms to do this for them. So. I, I I don't see I don't see why like they wouldn't do this for for their videos. Uh, the, the, obviously, you wouldn't want to target these guys because they already have companies doing this for them. But there's a lot of guys that you know that want to be doing this and that don't know how to do this. Now, look, here's a video ranking for Orlando personal injury. So you can like we had a, a we had someone in the group who couldn't rank for Orlando personal injury, and he, there was no videos. But look, here's this is brand new, August fourteenth. 2013, but this was not ranking here. So this is an older video, but they've been working on getting this video to rank. This is brand new. This ranking is brand new because this was not here. 
uh, this was not ranked on the first page. So it is possible, and there's a lot of authority on this first page. You got fine law, yellow pages. There's a lot of lot of authority on here. Um, uh, the first the first person I would go to if you were going to get one of those lawyers is about page yeah. seven or seventeen. Yeah. And be like, how about you kick Morgan and Morgan? Yeah, I would definitely ass. go deeper for sure. For sure, and these. Man, now you got this thing turning into It's a, it's an idea to test. I got to test it. If you want to test it, by all means, I'm, I'm sharing this with you all because I have an abundant mindset. I don't care what you do with it. I'm just letting you know that my brain is kind of thinking about it, and it may be a great little way. And, and when George brought this up, I thought, well, it might be good to share this with folks. But So let's answer George's question really quick, right? Uh, I'm not going to jump in the Google Keyword Tool because it's going to be a pain in the ass. But what I'm going to do is just give you an idea of how this works. Okay, so let's say... Uh, these guys are paying 50 bucks a click, which is about right. They're probably paying anywhere from 35 to $50 a click. I don't want to click their ads because I don't want to cost them any money. Um, so what, what happens is, let's say that, I'm going to bust out the old calculator here. Let's say that uh, this, this keyword gets, just for easy math, it gets 1,000 searches per month, right? So... He's, they're not going to pay 50 grand in advertising. It's 50 a click. They're not going to pay 50 times 1,000. They're not going to pay 50,000. So if you've noticed, if you've been paying attention, some of you have, some of you haven't, these used to be colored. They used to be like different colors. It was like a light, maybe rose or something, or like a pink, or, and there was like a light blue in the background. So these, these ads were different than this, the organic search results. So now they got rid of the border or the background and now it's like all the same color, uh, which is interesting. Now I don't know if that has improved the click-through rate. The reason that they did that was because the click-through rate, click-through rate means how many people out of these 1,000, how many people were actually clicking these ads. If people don't click these ads, Google does not make any money, right? And so uh, the user, the visitor, was aware that these were ads and they were not clicking them. There was actually heat map studies that were done by Columbia University that all of the eyeballs were going over here. So all of the attention when people searched are on these three results. One, two, three. This one being the highest. So people weren't even looking at this. So technically you could say that Google was broken because you know their business model was broken. Because the percentage of click-through was really low. So, like, if you were getting a 5% click-through, you were doing really, really good. Which is crazy. Think about it. You're, like, sitting up here at the top, and only 5% of these 1,000 people would be clicking your ad. Okay? Uh, and that, that, that would be really good. Anything, any 5% is really good. If you were doing 10%, you're, like, killing it. You know, total gangbusters. You're doing really, really good, which would be... Uh, I'm sorry, 5% would be 50 people, right? Yeah, 5% would be 50, 10% yep. uh, would be 100. So, but the, the, so like if, if there was 1,000 searches, according to the heat map studies that were done, 500 of them would be clicking here. So 50% of the traffic would be clicking this. So this is like, I'm, I'm on page two. I actually need to be on page one for this to be <laughs> legitimate, what I'm telling you. So th these guys right here, lawyers.com, these guys are getting, if this was, if this was 1,000 searches per month, these guys are getting 500 visitors out of uh, the people that are searching Orlando personal injury lawyer. So this is really where it's at. It's inorganic, okay? And I just want to put that out there just to give you all a little education of how this is working. Now, I don't know if Google changing the background has improved their click-through rates because I have not been... Was that a lot? It changed up or down? a lot. Really? Up. Yeah, I think I think they said it was like twenty three to thirty percent increase because people are like accidentally clicking now. Oh no shit. Yeah, they said that it was a huge increase wow. in clicks. Wow. And notice over here too how they only have the ad over here once. But they don't yeah. have it over here, but over here they have it. I bet if they just did it like up here. I don't know. They probably have to. They probably have to disclose it on these ones. I think they have to disclose that yeah. that's a paid, and on the uh, on the side, that's a whole section. Because if you put ads on your website and you do the, um, I think it's one hundred and sixty yeah. by six hundred, 
it only shows it's an ad yeah, yeah, at the yeah. top corner. So it did go up. So if, if it was 20%, so if it was 20% of 5%, so what is that like? It went up like to 8% click through rate? Something like that. It, 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 it was, I mean, well, it's for, not, you know, monstrous. Yeah, well, for them numbers, it is. Over, over, I mean, hell, they over only millions need, of well, keywords. They only need deal. one person. <laughs> They need one one click. Yeah, and they over made the billions money back. of keywords. It's a big deal. Uh, yeah, that leaves a lot for organic. You got it, K Kendrick. Th th this is really where the traffic is. So it's like fifty percent click here, and I think it's like thirty percent click here and twenty percent click here. Um, I think it was Columbia University that did it. You can Google Columbia. You can you can look at this after we're done. Columbia University. University heat map. No, nope, I guess not. I thought it was Columbia University. Let's see. Google heat map study. So these are like. Was it Georgetown? Was it Georgetown? Or something crazy. I don't know. Just, no, you know, when we're done with the call, just, just everybody Google this. Uh, why did I write Google heat? Oh, yeah. Google heat map study. Just Google that, and it, you can like read about it, and it'll like it'll tell you like this chart over here should have it. Uh, this chart, uh, so it's like, uh, so fifty six percent, thirteen percent, nine percent. So this is like number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are the click through rates right here, distribution of clicks. So y'all can check this out when we're done. It also has a percentage of time spent. Too. So it's a good little study for you to learn about, uh, you know, how the, the how the, the page one plays out. So, okay, so let me finish uh, going over this, I'm going down tangents over here, but I just want to give you all an overall picture. So let's just say, as an example, Nation Law for Easy Math gets a 10% click-through rate. Uh, George wants us to figure out how much do we know, how much these guys are paying, right? So if it's 10%, so let's just multiply times 0.10, that gives us 100 clicks is, is, is per month is what uh, he, would be, he would be getting about 100 clicks per month for being here. And then what we do is we just, let's say he's paying 50 cents a click or 50 bucks a click. So 100 times the 50. So it's costing him $5,000 per month for this spot right here. That's how much this guy would be. And this is theory. I, I, I'm just using easy numbers and stuff so you can have an idea. Um, you could go in the Google Keyword Tool and get a better idea of what the search is and how much they're paying per click. And you would anywhere from 5 to 10%. 10% uh, would be like on the high side. 5% would be the average click-through rate is what I would, uh, what I would go with. It, yeah. Anthony? Would you like me to tell you exactly how much nationlaw.com is paying for that number one position? Yeah, in you the could app? use uh, uh, you could use some seventy-two thousand nine hundred per month. Sixty dollars a month. Get out of here. Per month. I'm not. How kidding. do you know that? Um, their their average ad position is uh, number six point six. I'm not lying to you, brother. I swear to God, thirty-three thousand to seventy-two thousand dollars a month wow. in ads. Spyfu.com. Yeah, you could use uh, you could use the old the old Spyfu tool. I forgot all about that. I I love Spyfu guys. They are here in Phoenix. Uh, they is it? It's Phoenix. free, isn't it? We can use it for free, right? No. Well, you you can you can do a couple of searches every day for free, and and yeah. When you put in that uh, nationallaw.com, uh, Nation, it'll Nation show law? you exactly what it is. Yeah, nationlaw.com. See, Dave Jones is even like he knew. Yeah, when I when I can quote you, <laughs> when I can quote you the wow, numbers, look at that. you know I'm using a tool. That is an incredibly awesome monthly AdWords campaign. budget: thirty-three to seventy-two grand a month. Auto accident lawyer, they are spending five thousand dollars a day to advertise. Yeah, them. look at that. <laughs> yeah. 
And and I was spending about two hundred dollars a month when I had a client who needed this information to have a huge uh, arsenal of searches and reports and all of that. Uh, but for like seventy nine bucks, if you're doing a couple of searches, once you have a client to pay for this for you, then it's it's a cool tool because then you can turn around and when they say, well, you know, what would be a good word? And you can say, well, Orlando personal injury attorney, you know, is getting 27 clicks. If I can get on page one with the video, that is super awesome and valuable, you know, because now you're above their, their everybody else's rankings with a picture and you're going to get some excellent um, search yeah. results. It's going to cost you a lot of time, though. That's a, it's a, it's, but I mean, when you're getting thousands of bucks for that, I mean, look at that. Look at how much they're they're spending for auto accident attorney Paul Coast. Hundred fifty, hundred fifty bucks. A hundred and fifty bucks a click. That's their bid. One sixty two for car accident attorney Palm Coast. So if you're in the Palm Coast area. You've got some, uh, and, and what I love is those are the actual ads you see um, around those. Um, those are the actual yep. ads, the yep. titles that they used, everything. So use that in your um, video uh, description and stuff. Oh, Dave Jones, Yuppers, you just hit the holy grail. That is, it's, it's been my secret for a while. I stopped, you know, money. I stopped using this when I stopped doing uh, AdWords. When I got, I used to use this religiously. Exactly. I used to kill it um, on ClickBank promoting stuff. And this is how I would find uh, ads that were working. Because it, it tells you how long an ad has been running for a specific keyword. So if an ad has been running for a long time for a specific keyword, you got yourself a winning ad and a winning product. So then I would just go in. I wouldn't copy Absolutely. the ad because that's not cool. You don't want to copy someone's ad. But I would just go in and I would take theirs as a basis. I now know what keyword was converting and I now knew what product was converting. So I had that part figured out. I would just go in and then mess around with different ad copy to get my winning ad. But this was definitely something I loved using back in the day. Well, and with the updates... Um, with you not being able to pull certain keywords and everything, SpyFu sent out um, an email and did a whole article and they did a webinar. And, and you know, if anything, you know, subscribe to the emails because they're the ones who give me most of my information when something's going to change with the ads yeah. or pay. Somebody like, uh, somebody like Dave Jones, um, uh, this is something that you should start considering offering as a service because you've got experience with this stuff, man. You've got. Uh, I'm not telling. I'm not saying that anyone on here shouldn't consider this, but this is like a whole other beast. And if you don't have experience and you're just now learning, you know what we're doing here in the speed ranking group. Please don't go down this tangent because it's it's a very complicated tangent. It's a very complicated business model. Now, for guys that are experienced like Joe and Dave and Frank, uh, this is a great business model to add to your quiver of services that you offer a business. So I'm not sure if you're doing this or not, Dave, but. Uh, this is definitely something that you should consider offering as a service. I, I know my buddy Sam does really, really well, man. He's managing millions of dollars in ad spend per month. So uh, I know that he's loving life right now and how well he's doing with his business. So this is definitely something that you can consider doing for, for businesses. But, you know, I, I, I'm just letting all the newbie people know, heed with caution. This is a very, very complicated business model, and it's not one – I would get into right now. I would, you know, use this data to help you, like Frank said, ha help you come up with ideas to put in your videos, and um, you know, look at what competition is doing. Look at look at the value of keywords that are out there. But I, I wouldn't. But please don't ask the questions in the group because a lot of this information is even beyond me, and I use it. <laughs> you click that help button. Sign up. Yeah. And ask them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll they'll help you, man. But yeah, I won't be able to explain what I'm using it for. It's it's just crazy stuff. Yep. Dave says that he's already doing this. He's making about three hundred bucks a month to do this for one client. You should scale that if you've got experience with this, bro. Um, yeah. You should definitely yeah. scale. I mean, like, look at if you pick these guys up as a client, right? They're spending anywhere from thirty three to seventy two grand a month. So, if you only charge ten yeah, so, percent, you're almost so seventy two thousand. <laughs> Times ten percent, 
Just managing them, you'd be making 7200 a month. Just managing these guys as a client. And we wonder why Mr. Bell is mm -hmm. doing this for a living. <laughs> hey, Daniel, stay off of that. <laughs> it is a... You people better stay out of Phoenix, <laughs> man. I'm telling you. I own this state. Once Chris Winters left, I'm uh, starting to take funny. over. Uh, okay, let's see. Do we have any other <laughs> questions on here? I think that answers all of our questions. Oh, if we get Yellow Page clients to download their video, what strategies do we use to change their videos so that YouTube doesn't see it as duplicate content? Uh, Barry, all you got to do, man, is just add like a. Um, you just gotta add like a, you can add like a 30 second image to the end of it and just increase the length of the video. Uh, so like you could do like with um, with my iPhone client, uh, I you just create like an image like this and then add this image to the end of the video for like 30 seconds and you just change the time of that video that should do it unless something has changed that I don't know no no that I mean I'll I'll nip something off or I'll put on like mm -hmm. that I just add it add it yeah three five ten twenty seconds it doesn't matter as soon as you change the length, you yep. change the file. Just add it to the end. Um, Frank, you've been hammering these questions for me, right? Awesome. Yes, sir. I okay, appreciate I'll it, man. i uh, Would you mind giving an example of the way your most successful affiliate campaign converted and was monetized? Um, my most successful one is no longer available because I had to take it down because of Amazon. Um, so I cannot show it to you <laughs> as an example, but it was one of my most successful ones. Uh, it was for the Amazon Kindle 2, and that sucker did about 40 grand net commissions, uh, Jason. Um, and I, I basically ranked for Amazon Kindle 2, Amazon Kindle 2 Review, buy Amazon Kindle 2, get Amazon Kindle 2. I ranked for all those keywords, Amazon Kindle 2 discount. Um... And Amazon made me take it down after I was up for about 40 days. They made me take it down. Um, they still paid me my commissions, though. Thank God. They didn't have to, but they did. They were cool about it. Um, but yeah, that was probably one of my most successful ones, like for one product with like, you know, a lot brought in a lot from that one product. Um, and then I had a whole bunch of them in ClickBank. Uh, but then I got killed by Google AdWords. I had a whole bunch of that. I was doing really well with that. Um, I don't really like showing the ones I got going on now because when I do, they always get rated. Um, and it takes a lot of work to figure this shit out. But I will give you a tip. I will give you an idea uh, that I just got from this webinar today or this call today, which is if you go on SpyFu uh, and you uh, put in ClickBank... Uh, products in there um, you can figure out like you can see which ads have been running the longest time for specific products and what keywords they're running under and that'll tell you right there what keyword to go after for a product and you could rank a video for it and you know go and take that away from them SpyFu is an awesome tool I totally forgot about SpyFu oh dude I love them um yeah, I, I get phone calls from their salesmen saying, we're in Vegas, where are you? And I was like, uh, I'm not coming to Vegas, what's going on? <laughs> and it was an industry launch, and they're like, come on, we had a t-shirt for you. I'm I, like, well, send it to me. So if you see me in videos with my spy foo shirt, you know why. And I got stopped at a, a Home Depot. The lady working the cash register is like, oh, that's cool. Works there. Jason, if you uh, if this is something you want to do and you want to focus on just doing affiliate stuff, my recommendation to you is to make a channel that's just like you're just doing affiliate stuff, and you can do you can do all kinds of stuff. It doesn't have to be niche specific. It'll still rank. My channel is not niche specific, and it still ranks. Okay, so that's the first thing that I would do is is start having a channel where you just do all kinds of affiliate stuff. Right, number one. Number two, I would create a a a, a blog like a WordPress blog with some domain name and I would a Google web I would go to Google webmaster and I would tie that blog into that channel so that people can actually click right from your videos over to your blog post 
And then on your blog post, you can have like a big ass link that redirects them uh, to the um, to the product that you want to promote. And I would embed the video. I would definitely embed the video on that blog post too. But if that's all you want to do, you don't want to do local stuff and you want to do affiliate stuff. That's how I would do it if I was you. Uh, that way you'll just get you'll just gain momentum much faster. You'll rank much easier without. Uh, having to like set up new channels all the time and you just set up one channel and just start loading up a bunch of videos on it tie one URL one blog to that channel um, and and uh, you can you know just literally people can click on your an annotation on your video and go right to your blog from your video and um, and then you could have a big fat link right above the video that goes over to the product And Gabby, um, one thing before Anthony even sees your statement, he is what he calls a massive action taker, and the spelling of galaxy is so yeah, little on care. his, his <laughs> uh, radar. <laughs> I'm the same way, and I get yelled at by the wife. She's like, you know you misspelled yeah, like everything on there. I'm like, don't get it. Y'all want to video. read an awesome book? It's called Ready, Fire, Aim. You should get that book on Amazon. It's oh from a guy God. named Michael Masterson. How to go from zero to 100 million in no time flat. Awesome book. Uh, Michael Masterson awesome. will tell you that spelling doesn't matter. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not picking on you, Gabby. I appreciate you doing it. I, I, I do appreciate no, no, you looking no. out for me. I do. I really do. I appreciate you looking out for me. It's just that uh, I, I don't care about that kind of stuff. And, 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 and I, I, it's also I, I want late. you all to know that you should neither, <laughs> right? Like, you shouldn't let these little things hold you up. It's awesome that you, you caught that. I, again, I really appreciate it. I'm not picking on you. But what you, you don't want is you don't want little things like that to hold you back. And you know, one of the, the I, th I think, I don't know if I, I said this to the group last week on a call, but like one of the people that mentored me when I first got started was Frank Kern. And Frank Kern, if you all know who he is or you don't know who he is, he's one of the biggest marketers in our space. Like he is huge. The guy does like millions and millions of dollars a year with three people on his staff. And uh, I realized that like I, I started when I was getting mentored by Frank, one of the things that I noticed about Frank's stuff, if you watch his stuff or you look at his stuff and how he puts his stuff out, he uses like ghetto squeeze pages. He uses ghetto landing pages. He uses like none of the stuff that he does is not sophisticated at all. It's just basic stuff. Even sales pages for some of his $2,000 products are just plain old white sales pages with heavy copy, no design. And here's this guy's doing six, seven million a year in his business. I love the one that he said he, he sent somebody to a lander. He sent me to it and it said, click this. Yeah. And I did. <laughs> I was like, okay. I mean, if that's as easy it, it, as it gets, my man. I was and that's like, when I was, I was so a big eye opener for me. That like <laughs> I was getting hung up on everything, having to look perfect, be perfect, and be way better than I thought it needed to be. And I realized, well, Frank's doing all this money without making any of this stuff perfect. And you know what he told when he was mentoring us. Uh, I was one of the first students to go through his mass control training back in 2008. What he told us was that like readability. It's very important. Like if people can't read what you're putting out, they're just going to bounce back. And a lot of people forget that and they over design stuff and they like, um, they make things so it's so over designed. It's hard to look at that. People just bounce back. Another thing too is mistakes are good because mistakes allow, like he intentionally puts mistakes in his emails. If you read his emails, you'll notice that there are mistakes in the spelling and mistakes in the punctuation. And he does that because uh, the reason he does that is it's like it brings him down to the person. It makes him like yeah. seem like a real person <laughs> and not, not yeah, More not human. like a superhero. And and people in their minds start to think, well, if Frank is making a mistake and he's making all this money and he's doing it making mistakes, well then that's okay. I can do this too. I can make mistakes and make money. There's one thing about Frank Kern is everything that guy does is calculated to the umpteenth degree. <laughs> everything. <laughs> and that is science. And, and that's another thing. If you think about that Facebook thing that went around and said, you know, if you can read this, there's been a study and you're just very open-minded. Dude, I've seen your galaxy thing a million times. And yeah, I didn't, saw that it. It was I didn't notice it. And, and Gabby, I'm glad you brought this up <laughs> because if idiot. you hadn't have brought this up, this wouldn't we wouldn't have had this conversation 
which is an important converse is an important conversation Absolutely. to have. So I'm really grateful that you brought this up because I want you all to know that like some of the stuff is good that you do it. It's like like Scott Rogers says over here, misspelling is the ultimate pattern interrupt. It really is. It's designed to um, it's designed to like just catch your attention. Like that caught your attention, right? And so there are people that are reading this and that catches their attention and they're like, oh my God, that dope misspelled it, you know, and <laughs> it creates some sort of a new thought in their brain, whatever that thought is. And it, it refocuses them and gets their attention, which is what you want. Um, but it also makes sure that you know that Old Town Kissimmee ad is tied in now with Galaxy yeah. Repair. Yeah. It's going to be that trigger that it's you true. want in marketing. It's true. Um, or you're going to think they're idiots and never call them. So it does. Either way, it works. Um, <laughs> Daniel Madero, did we answer Daniel's question here? No, I I flagged it so that you would look into. So you'd just make a quick statement. It's about uh, legal agreements, standard contracts. I don't use contracts you know, uh, uh, just because I, I'll just. Yeah, yeah, Daniel, I don't do it like in the very beginning because the, the contract's kind of like in the, in, when I start a relationship with someone, if I'm just trying to rank one thing for them, I don't really get into a contract with them. I know that when we talked, uh, we you had talked about doing more extensive stuff with, with, with helping uh, businesses with their brands and, and building out their channel and channel development. You're going to want to enter into a contract with them. Um, it, it, initially, you don't. Because you just want to kind of prove to them that you can do the stuff that you're doing. Kind of like what Joe Mafolio talked about in the beginning where he just ranked the video to prove to the guy that he can do it. I don't know if Dave Jones does that in his business where you do just like a little results-oriented campaign. Uh, most people aren't going to want you to do heavy-duty channel development like we talked about like right out of the gate until you can prove it to them. And they're not going to be comfortable signing a contract until you can prove to them that you're a legit guy. Uh, but... Uh, I can definitely, um, I don't want to post my contracts in the group. My attorney advised me not to do it because they're specific to the state that I'm in. Uh, and it could cause all kinds of like legal ramifications for myself. Um, so what I would suggest that you do is go to like legal zoom and just look up contracts, scope of work contracts. Uh, and, and you can find some stuff on there. You can also just Google, uh, uh, work agreement contracts and see what comes up and then um, just go through it and and you know it, make it customize it to yourself it doesn't need to be anything crazy but my, my attorney definitely did say he didn't want me to put any of my contracts in there because it could cause like all kinds of other legal problems because let's say you use one of my contracts in a deal and it doesn't hold up then you could come to me and then I'm now liable because the contract didn't hold up right for whatever reason in your state so he advised me to not do that. Uh, otherwise, I would already have him in there um, because I'm all about sharing. But, you know, the best thing for you to do in that case is just kind of Google. Just Google around, like look for uh, work agreement contracts, uh, go into LegalZoom, check out what they have. Um, and, and then, you know, you can massage it to your own liking. I know he's going to be wor you're going to be so working much. with attorneys. So, uh we had talked about this, right? So you're going to be working with attorneys. So here's what I would suggest you do. I would suggest you find a hotshot attorney that um, it, you would want to work for you, right? And then I would rank all their shit for free. And I would work out an agreement with them where they're your guy. They're going to help you with all your contracts and they're going to help defend you. and do Because if you're going to work with attorneys, you need to have an attorney. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, because you're going to get pushed around uh, and bullied by other attorneys. So what you want to do is go find an attorney that you would want to be your attorney and then make an agreement with him where you're just going to rank all his stuff and he's going to help you with all your legal stuff. And that covers you, man. You'll be good to go. Better, Better call, call Saul. Saul. <laughs> Did that help you, Daniel? Let me know that that helped you. Want to make sure that helped you. Uh... Hey, Frank, it's beginning. To, all right, so we're two hours in. I'm going to cut this. Last question. That, 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 let me, I want to make sure that helped Daniel. Thanks. I agree. I think we're on the same page. I was just looking for a template to start with. I wish I could, bro. I just can't. My attorney, yeah, my attorney advised. Legal Zoom. Legal yeah. Zoom. Like, just Google out. it. What would you say, Frank? 
Yeah, just legal zoom. That, yeah, go to legal zoom. Yeah, that's the best place. That's the best place. I I I can't because then I'm just it's just gonna open up a can of worms for me, brother. But then, like, start to look for a really good attorney in your area that you want to work for you. Really, literally, like, start to do that and build a relationship with them and say, hey, listen, I can rank stuff. I will rank all your stuff for free. Uh, let's cha let's exchange services, and they'll be uh, they'll be on your nuts because they 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 they're gonna need a guy like you. They, they do. They need a guy like you to help them with that stuff. So, um, okay. Or if you don't have nuts, yes, they'll exactly. like you a whole you have lot. Long legs and big big boobies. Uh, it's beginning to sound like the way to go with local is for us to control all the channels if we can, Ed Ryan. Uh, yeah, you can, Ed, Ed, Ed yes, yes, you, you, like, you can control the channel and then sell it to them once you're done developing it. You can do that, absolutely. You can also, like, get hired on a retainer basis, and they're in control of the channel. I'm actually in talks right now with a pretty big guru to do all his channel development. He's already got everything, like the guy's got tons of videos in his channel, but they're not optimized correctly. It's a big mess in there. I, I don't want to say his name because uh, I, I, I don't want anyone to think I'm disrespecting him. It's just they don't know what they're doing, and none of the videos are optimized correctly. It's a huge mess. So You can uh, use my name. So okay. I'm not going to go in and start a new <laughs> channel for the guy. His channel is old. It's got a lot of videos. It's got a lot of authority. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to charge him a retainer and I'm just going to go in there and start fixing it. When the retainer runs out, I'm going to stop working until he pays me the retainer again. And then I'll go back in and I'll keep working on it. That's the best way to do it. If, if I, I know that uh, that's one of the things that Daniel was working on. He found a client in his area. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say who it is that has a lot of videos, but they're not, uh, on their channel, they're not optimized correctly. Those are huge targets, folks. People that have a lot of videos and they've got no views. They've got a, a, a great brand. They've got no views. Their videos aren't optimized correctly. We're not going to go and take all those videos down and re-upload them and start another channel because you want to be in control of their channel. You just got to collect a retainer. You got to do what Daniel's doing, set up a contract with them, get a retainer. Because if you put a contract in place with them, then they've got something too. They've got legal action against you, which is going to allow them to feel comfortable with giving you retainer money. Like my club in Panama City, we've got a contract. I'm on a retainer with them, and I'm expected to do so much work for them. And if I don't do the work, they've got a con they've got they could take legal action against me, and I'm okay with that because I'm going to do the work, right? I'm not going to screw them out of their money. So, um, so I hope that answers your question, Ed. Um, Again, it's not an either-or world, bro. It, it all depends it, it, how you want to do things. If you're starting out with a brand-new client who's got no videos, by all means, have control of the channel. And when you're done, then sell them the channel. Or if they're paying you as they go along, you know, then you don't have to sell them the channel. When you're done, they're done paying you. You just hand them the keys to the channel. Uh, all right, let's see. Awesome, Daniel's going to start with legal zoom. Great. Can I talk about uh, link wheeling uh, videos? Uh, sure, Jason. Um, the the secret to link wheeling video, videos is um, you, the videos have got to be relative. So make sure that whenever you're linking videos to other videos, make sure that they're relative, that they're within the same sphere of whatever it is you're talking about. Like when I did that Media by Academy Reloaded campaign, all the videos that I link together were part of that campaign so you just want to make sure that you you do it that way uh, there's all kinds of strategies that you can do you can do like a circular link wheel where video a links to video b video b links to video c um or you can like um you can cross link all of them like on the media by academy reloaded i put all the links to every one of the videos inside the description because they were all relative. Like I said, if you want to see module one, go here. If you want to see module two, go here. And and I put all those links in all of the descriptions because it was a relative way to do it. Um, yes, just a link in the description. Uh, is it a drawback losing channel authority by having all separate channels? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I hope that helps, Jason. Uh, if you were like, like if you were like, let's say, let's say, Jason, you were doing a a, a channel uh, on like garage door repair in Dallas, and you wanted to like 
load that channel up with a bunch of videos and all those videos were like each one a different keyword I probably would not link them all together the way that I did the media by Academy reloaded campaign I would not do that um, unless the videos were were different and they provided content and value when, when see when the video provides value and you're like teaching in the video or you're providing some sort of content that provides value and it's not just an ad uh, you're not going to get in trouble because what you're saying to them is, hey, if you want to learn about, you know, fixing your garage in Dallas, go here. And and that other video actually shows them like a little bit how they could fix their garage in Dallas. But if you don't want to do this, then call our service company and we'll come out and do it for you. You know, so you can make it so that like ads have content in them, you know, where like you're doing a little bit of teaching. Uh, it, it's kind of like. Uh, the, 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 the way you want to think about it is you want to teach them how to do long division and then sell them the calculator, right? So you would like teach them how to fix the garage, but then you're like, well, if you don't want to do this, cause you know, you make it complicated, like long division, just call us up and we'll come and do it for you. Sell them the calculator. I hope that makes sense. Um, so, so that's how you, so then you could link the videos together if you do that. Right. But if your video is the same video, and you just changed the keyword and you added like a little bit longer music to it and you're linking all that shit together and it's the same video all linked together, you're probably gonna get in trouble. I mean, you may get away with it for a while, but I, you, you're not gonna sleep at night if, if you're doing that all over the place. It only takes one person to say, yeah, you won't have to, you won't have to, if you do the channel right and you, you know, uh, do a video per keyword and you're building authority that way and the videos are all a little bit different with the keywords and you're doing it right all those videos are going to rank without you having to link them together just so that you know they're all going to rank so you don't have to link wheel them together if you don't want to uh, it, it, you could do one way that you won't get in trouble is if you did a link wheel where like video one links to video two inside the description box and then video two links to video three if you do it that way you have less of a chance of getting in trouble and you just make like one big wheel where they, you know, video one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to one. You know, you probably wouldn't get in trouble if you did that. But if you did a cross-linking strategy like I did on Media Buy Academy Reloaded, let me see if I can just pull that up so you all can see what I'm talking about. I'll just do that really quick. This is the last, last, last question. Media Buy Academy Reloaded Review. Okay, so these are all my videos right here. One, two, three. So they're all different, and they all cover different things. Like, none of the videos are the <laughs> same. Like, it's not like I took the same garage door repair video and made it, you know, eight different times. Or I didn't take the same Media by Academy Reloaded Review video and do it eight different times. Every one of these videos is different. Every one of these videos is about that module. So if you open this up, you'll see over here that I literally, in every one of these description boxes, I linked all of them to all seven videos. And the reason I can do that without getting in trouble is because every video is different. Every video offers valuable content. So, uh, you know, if you were doing like what I said and the garage repair video was all the same and you were just changing the keywords, you would really just want to have a link to you know one of the other videos here and then in the other video have a link to another video so that they're not cross-linking these are all cross-linking so if you were to go to all these other videos and look in the description box they're all gonna be here I'll so what is this number one so I'll go and pull up number two so that's number and and if he gets me and if Anthony gets manually looked at by a YouTube human they will see that, oh, this is module one, this is module two. Yeah, and I linked and up here cool. too, like next video, previous video. So all this stuff is right. like linked together. Um, and that's what they teach you to do in the uh, creator's yep. um, class. So yep. you're following yep. and then the rules. So, so this is video two. I see video two, I have, again, links to all the other videos. So I'm not going to get in trouble because they're all different. I, I hope that clarifies the link wheel stuff uh, for Jason and for anyone else watching. Uh, link wheeling on YouTube is very powerful. You just have to be careful you're not doing it, you know, uh, in a way that's like with spam. 
you know, where like you're taking the same video and you're putting like that same video 10 times in your channel with different variations and then linking them all together. Yeah, that's definitely going to cause some issues for you if you get reviewed. It, it will cause, they're not going to catch you right away, right? But they're going to eventually catch you. No, they're going to catch you the day after you sign yeah, a contract. That's, usually, with that's Murphy's law, right? <laughs> Not, not that I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> wow, that was an awesome call. Giddy up, two hours. In, and, and you know what's so funny? I tell people these calls are only an hour long on the webinar. Every call that we've done has been two hours. Even the ones back in November, they've been two hours. So I'm cooked. I'm tired. I'm going to go um, I'm gonna go say bye-bye. And uh, actually what I'm going to do is take a little break, and I'm going to get cracking on updating some content. So that I can put some modules in there tonight. So um, now, see, as soon as you said that, the, the, everybody, the, everybody woke up. Woke up. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> uh, I think next week. I mean, it looks like the consensus is where did it go? It looks like the cons this guy is a riot. By the way, uh, if you all want to get a kick out of watching somebody who's just doing a great job with affiliate stuff. I highly recommend this watching this guy. Uh, anyone who wants to do affiliate stuff, look for Thomas Pacheco's post inside the group, uh, and look for King Human. I think his name is King Human. Let me see. Let me pull up his channel really quick. Y'all should watch some of this guy's videos. I mean, this guy's killing it, and he just gets on there and he does silly shit on his channel. If you want to be a superstar, like model this guy, you want to be an affiliate, model what this guy does. He's a trip. Yeah, it's forward slash King Human. YouTube.com forward slash King Human. He gets a decent amount of views on his stuff. These are all legit views. 62,000, 6,500, 2,300, 13,000. He talks about all kinds of crazy shit. 44,000, 46,000, 9,600. But see, he's giving... Not only content, but he's he's yes. got a personality. There's something there. So when he posts something, 91,000 people are going to be put in front of his offer. And if he only has 10% click, you know, I mean, that's a damn good number. Yep. What's that, yep. 9,000 click? And now if you go another 10 buy, that's, you know, what, 900? I mean, so 900 buyers at 20 bucks is $18,000 yep. for a video. He's a good so. guy. I've been following him forever. <laughs> um, love this guy. Um, I don't subscribe to his stuff because <clears throat> sometimes he annoys me. <laughs> so, But I'll go and seek, seek him out. I'll be like, what's <laughs> King Human up to? Um, but, you, you know, for all you, all you guys that want to do affiliate marketing stuff, just go watch some of this guy's stuff and pay attention to what he's doing. It's, it's good stuff. Let's see. So... The consensus looks like Saturday is at 11 is what people want. What are you uh, – I'm curious. Oh, Scott so Rogers. We Scott, got 42 Scott people on the no. call. I'm curious what folks on the call want. Dave Jones says no. He does not want Saturdays. Scott says you'll interrupt his um, Sunday worship he, time. He worships on Sunday? Fridays, yes. Uh, yeah. I don't. Oh, I think he yes, was being Saturday. a jokester and don't saying that by the time you're no done. No Saturdays. Arthur says no. Yes, Saturday is Harley Day. Saturday is Harley Day. You know it's going to be winter soon, right? So Harleys have to be Saturday put up at unless you're in okay. places like I live. It's all good. Saturday at 11. Man, it's so hard. Winter it's like so hard because I want to please everybody, no, but it's New just Orleans. like so hard. It's just I, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I I, can't, I am a You're people a pleaser. pleaser. I just can't make everybody. I just can't do it. You made me fall out of my chair. Uh, let me ask you. Let me ask everybody this. How about like, how about moving it, it up on time. Friday? <laughs> how about moving it up on Friday? Like instead of three, doing it at eleven. Just curious. Maybe I should add that over here on this post. Well, maybe you should explain that doing it at 3 o'clock for you runs it till 5 o'clock, which interrupts your nighttime with Heather, and if you've got anything going, because a lot of people come into Florida for the weekend, yeah. and that's... Well, like, you know like why coach. 11 is good? Uh, 11 in the morning is good because we got folks on here like Clint. He's over in New Zealand, 
So he's about he's about fourteen right. hours ahead. So, you know, that's like one a.m. for him. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, no, I I agree. I've got friends in Singapore who are like, dude, you know, you're eighteen. Friday eleven stuff is, is perfect. Me. Eleven is good. <laughs> not early. Byron says not early. Byron, what's what what's your uh, time all zone? All of a sudden, Byron? Now you hit another one. What time zone are you in? Mike, eleven is good. Byron, you come still. on, you can get up at eleven, bro. Come on, <laughs> if I can get up at eleven, you can do it. Eleven is fine. Dale Monk, eleven. Oh, work conflict. Mm. Um, well, they quit no, your we job. We want him to do that. Yeah, you got to get going before you can quit your job. Well, yeah, I'm not doing right. financial. <laughs> Um, if he's married, the yeah. wife will kill me. <laughs> Man, it's so tough. It's like so hard because I really want to please everybody. <laughs> That's why there's headphones. Don't try to do that with a client. They'll, they'll get really mad when they walk in and see you with headphones on. <laughs> Anthony actually opened up the microphone during a webinar one time while I was sitting at I my did. desk. I unmuted you. Yep, and I had to run with a laptop to an <laughs> RV. Um, one PM is 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 good, but uh, it's like for, if you're twelve hours ahead, it's like one AM wherever that person is. That's the only problem with it, Ed. Uh, this webby started seven AM on Saturday. Awesome, I'm watching. Oh, uh, so Ed nice Ed's day. on the other side of the world, so you, right? He's got. He has sixty people in bed with him. Uh, Dave, Dave's closing me at eleven. Dave's closing me on eleven a.m. on Fridays. <laughs> Dave, you, uh, come on! I love this. You're closing me. This is awesome. I love it. He's closing me, and this guy says he's having problems closing clients. Come on. Well, I I think that if we do this, he better throw something in for me because you know that. I'm three hours ahead of Anthony, so when he said 11 a.m., I was like, damn, yeah, that's That eight. would suck for you, too. I forgot about that. No, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm up at 5 o'clock. All right, I'm, I'm not going to decide I'm yet. Sleep. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to see if, I'm going to, I'm going to actually, uh, I'm going to come over here. Can I edit this? No, I can't. Son of a bitch. I can't edit this. <clears throat> Uh, no, I don't. I don't think he can because there are comments. Yeah. It's already been. All out. right, uh, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna talk with Heather about it and and uh, <laughs> just delete the post. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. All right, everybody. I am really, 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 really grateful for you. I'm hoping that I can get all this stuff done so that next week we can really, really figure out on getting y'all rolling and start making some loot. I think every one of, from what I understand, a lot of folks are really worried about what they know before they go and get clients. And I can tell you that that's not something you have to worry about. My good friend, Alex Becker, um, who does about 300 grand a year in client business or 300 grand a month in client business will tell you that when he got started, he just went out and got clients and worried about the how to after. And, um, uh, and it's what I've done too. So it's not just me. That's crazy. <laughs> it's my other buddies are crazy too. So, um, but yeah, I will. Uh, I will definitely. Uh, I will let you all know about the time uh, as soon as possible. I will pr email everybody. We'll post it in the group, and we'll change it next week for whatever it is that we decide to do. Okay. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day. Uh, Dave's like, see you next Friday at eleven. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, hey Dave, get a get a hold of me, brother. We can, uh, I need a salesman. <laughs> yeah, you guys should definitely talk. All righty, have a good one, everyone. I'll talk to you. Every, I'll talk all to right. I'll talk to y'all in the group, and and uh, I'll check you later. 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 The webinar, the webinar has ended. <laughs> Bye. You can go away now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>